Ready? I'm ready. Ready? Okay. Let's get it. And we're back with another episode of Real Life Movie Talk. It's your boy Chris. Blockbuster Ben, what's happening, guys? And uh, it feels good to be back. It right? does. Yep. It and does. it feels so good to be back that we decided to bring a special guest on for this week. Uh, Shane Perry. What's up, guys? Welcome to the show. Shane Perry. Hey. Been watching? Feel like I'm in the presence of celebrity? No. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, please, man. We just we appreciate all your support. Seriously, it's, uh, yeah, it's awesome. It, it doesn't go unnoticed. Anybody that leaves us a comment, I do my absolute best to respond to everyone that we get because we it, i mean you taking the time to do it i feel like we should take the time to reach back out i do i do my best i really do messages the comments the likes the shares all that stuff i really do yeah, he does yeah i watch religiously every friday <laughs> yeah you know, awesome. I watch, so yeah well, we fun. appreciate it we yeah. do and, and it throw criticism out there i like that when people say we're stupid for our opinions, that's what makes me feel good. About well, you're so. stupid for the Revenant. That movie's better than Top Four Five, man. Yeah, the Revenant. Yeah, that's oh. trash. Yeah, and I'll stand by that. Uh, cool. You can stand there all you want, man. You can stand, you can stand there. on island by yourself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is. That's all the comments. Yeah, it's uh-huh. okay. Um, but yeah, so let's. I mean, you know, you know the drill, right? Mm-hmm. You know the drill. I told him ahead of time. Got to come with your top five, as we told every other guest. So we got to give people a little idea of what your tastes are. So let's get into it. So top five, man, it's just it's so difficult mm-hmm. because, like, I tried to do genres, and I was like, well, that doesn't matter because, yeah. like, it's what you like. And then, right. like, when I was a kid, I liked this, and I'm like, do I put that on there because I watched it 500 times as a kid? So top. I would say no. I would say no to that unless no. it truly is one of your, like, top five. Like, you still watch it like like that now. So, I mean, one of them, so. That's right. I mean, I got a Star Wars cup. I got a Star Wars mask. Oh, about okay. Star Wars cup. Number one, Empire Strikes Back. Okay. That's episode five. Did you say you have a Star Wars mask in your pocket? Yes. Oh, like a COVID like, mask. Yeah, like a COVID mask. Okay, all right. <laughs> I thought you were about to pull Darth Vader out. I was excited. Like a helmet? <laughs> yeah. So we're not letting let you walk past that one. Yeah, <laughs> okay. And the only reason why I didn't pick Return of the Jedi, because one of my good buddies who watches this show occasionally, okay. would kill me if I put Return of the Jedi. And okay. That, so... Empire Stop pressuring your friends into telling them what to watch. Yeah. I mean, this guy changing my Star Wars nuts. I mean, oh, he really? has an entire room in his house with probably seven, eight hundred Star Wars figurines, so he would kill me. So oh, wow. So, That's yeah. dedication. It's still opinionated. Yeah. I think you should put it in there. No. Nah. Empire Strikes Back holds I, true. It's I think that part, yeah, I think it is a better movie. I agree with yeah. you, yeah. but I feel like you're weighing yourself on this one. Return of Jedi, I watched more. Because Boom. I think it's That's an easier it. watch. We've replaced it. Return of the no. Jedi is no. in there. Empire Strikes Back is a better movie. Return of the Jedi is an easier watch. It's fun. It's I more fun. It. I exactly. Think, yeah. like if you're I just think. chilling with your boys, you put it on Return. If you want to watch a good movie, turn it on Empire. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, Wedding Crashers, best comedy of all time. <laughs> best comedy of all time. <laughs> He's not even from Kingsville. <laughs> best best I, comedy I, of all time. Dude, I had no idea. I... Crab cakes and football. That's, That's what Maryland does. Well, Maryland yeah, does. baby. <laughs> That's what does. That, that is amazing. Hey, it's a good comedy. <laughs> that movie has so many quotable lines. She took me downstairs and drained me for 45 minutes. Yeah. I mean, just line <laughs> after line <laughs> after <laughs> line. That was my first Asian. You better lock it up. You better lock it up. No, you lock it up. You lock it up. Yeah. I'm not arguing. I'm not going to argue that. So, and plus, it is fun, man. Like, yeah. Oh my god, that's so funny. Uh, right I have no idea that was in the top five. Yeah, it's good. by far best yeah. comedy of all time. Can't beat it. Gro- yeah. Uh, um, Avengers, Infinity War. There you go. I mean, probably best action movie I've ever seen. It's top five for me. Yeah. Um, it was hard. I was thinking like 300. I was thinking, okay. and but I don't know. Infinity War, I just, I could watch that movie. And it's like three hours. So it's like, if you can sit through that movie over and over again, it's yeah. definitely a good movie. When it, it ends, something about it, yeah. yeah. When it ends, you want more. Yeah, and, and then to me, Endgame was like, movie. I was felt like Infinity War was so much better than Endgame, so it made Infinity War even better for me. I, I, it's crazy because I, it's hard for me. I think I like Endgame more. I love what they did and how they wrapped everything up. But like, I try to just I look at it kind of as one movie. I'm like, it's like yeah, yeah the finish was hard. It's always yeah. hard to finish, and they finished on a great note. Mm-hmm. But there were things in Endgame I didn't like. Okay, so I think that you will never like the way something ends if you truly love it. Mm-hmm. I cannot remember a TV show that, like, I loved the last episode. Breaking Bad was probably as mm-hmm. close as it got. But, like, Games of Thrones... Quick quick sidebar. Like, Games of Thrones, I went into that last season thinking it was going to suck because you are so emotionally invested. And same with Marvel. Like, you are so emotionally invested. You have spent 
years of your life watching it. Yeah, like they, 11 or something. I mean, they're not, it's not going to end well. Like, so for me, Endgame, they did the best they could, but I thought it dragged up points. I thought, like, the whole time travel part, it's it a just, little corny. It's just, and it took forever. I'm like, okay. Well, come on. Speed it, wait. Up. Speed it up. Damn. Speed it up. I love the time heist. I loved it, man. I, I thought it was fun. It, it was came, good. Yeah. yeah. Ten minutes too long. Okay. Ten minutes too long. Right. Ten minutes too long. Okay. All right. Twelve Monkeys. I don't know if you guys ever seen I've it. I've seen that. It's been a while, but I've seen that. Yeah. Bruce Willis, Brad Pitt. Um, I don't know. I just watched it when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. Loved it. Still watch it. It's like, if I'm up at midnight and I can't think of what to watch, I throw it on. Pop it on, yeah. Nice. So, and then last, and this is where it got really hard, because I had like a few good men, swing kids, and I had all these movies I really wanted to watch. American Beauty. Okay. I love American Beauty. It's been a long time since I've seen that. We talked a little ahead pre-show about that movie, so we were, yeah. but it, I remember thinking that movie was great, um, and you remembered something else about that movie. Yeah, I mean, you can hate it. Like, <laughs> I didn't like it. Yeah. Why didn't you like it, though? Uh, maybe I was too young Probably. for it, because I watched it right when it came out, and it just felt really slow. Like, depressing, the guy's going through, like, a midlife crisis. It's boring, man. Okay. So I think I like, like him. I'd, I'd rather be him watching The Bag. And watch the movie, huh? Hmm. I just thought it was real. Like I feel like yeah. that could have happened in real life. Probably. So that's why I'm not. Not. It probably does happen in real life. Uh, yeah. All the time. Yeah. yeah. Um. Maybe. All right. Good list. Great. I list. would stamp approval on that list. Real life movie talk <laughs> approved. Thanks. I disagree um, with a couple of them, but I'll stamp it anyway. All right. <laughs> that was the first official stamp on a somebody's top five. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Beer and popcorn. Ready? Popcorn. We're going to do... Yeah, I haven't tried this yet. Heavy nobody has... Well, I'm sure some people have. We have not. This is Heavy C's uh, brand new release. I mentioned it on our last... Uh, two weeks ago. Uh, it came out that Friday. But it's the Heavy C's beer. Juice Cannon Lemon Meringue Pie Beer. And of course, you'll have the... I'll put the uh, label picture up. But another Chris Shiner uh, art. I mean, and it's just so wild. There's so much going on on this can. Um, dang, what a pop that was. All right, you guys are just... <laughs> They're nice cans. Yeah. It's good cans. I, I mean, I'm... Let's see, what does it say? Exciting twist on their flagship IPA, Loose Cannon. Juice Cannon Lemon Rank Pie is its hazy or juicier counterpart brewed with lemon, possessed, and lactose for creaminess. Wow. This beer is inspired by the sweet and tart flavors of Lemon Rank Pie, which I love. I love Lemon Rank Pie. It's one of my favorite desserts. I think I mentioned that actually when we... Smart. Oh, because you opened it like that. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Well, How do you do it on my tops? I don't know. Shout out to Norman. He probably doesn't watch. But I learned it from him, and everyone knows what beer is mine now. Cool. And it's easier to drink. That's a fair point. Mouth. Is that part of your life thing? Is that how Yeah, yeah. Okay. Marked it. Um, okay. Mm. It smells like regular loose cannon. Ooh, it is tart. I get the lemon, I feel like, almost right away. I love that zest. It is kind of creamy, too. I, I was it thick. It's yeah. not like creamy as much as it is thick. Mm. Uh, Chris. Are you a beer guy? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, we just redid our kitchen, and we put in a beer fridge. Nice. Under, like, nice. Yeah, so, like, I probably have 15 different beers in it right now. Okay. So. I, I don't know. I like this. I think it's pretty damn good. Bottomless Bellini, still my favorite. You don't like it? No. Are you going to drink it? Yeah. Never not going to drink it. That's never going to be a thing. <laughs> it is uh, very lemony. Like, uh, it's tart. Yeah. It's tart. It's a no for me, dog. Damn, bro. Okay, I like it. I again, it's not my favorite of them, the ones that we've had. Yeah, but I still enjoy it. Hey, Heavy C sends us beer. Yeah, probably uh, want to uh, say I don't like it. At least you know we're being honest up here. That's fair. That's I fair. loved a lot of the beers they sent us. In fact, almost all of them. This one just isn't my cup of tea. Okay, and I said tea because of the lemon thing. Got to connect oh, all the dots. I think all it'd be dots. better outside on a hot day. Yeah, yeah. I really. think it's like I think there's certain beers that. You need the atmosphere for mm -hmm. it. And to me, this is like, I'm at a baseball game. It's hot as shit. I'm going to drink a beer. I wouldn't argue that. It might be very good with like a dinner pairing as well. Like if you were eating fish or something yeah. that you yeah. put lemon on already. Yeah. Ooh, that's a great point. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe I, I'm in the wrong context. No, I don't know how well it's going to, but to jump over, I don't know how well it's going to pair with this uh, it's gonna go nice. caramel popcorn that we got from EC Pops. Um, this is Maryland's best buttery caramel, extra buttery, blah, 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 blah. Uh, We've had this one, right? Extra caramel. Extra right? buttery caramel. I don't think so. Oh, okay. Well, we've had the regular then. I guess, I don't know. We'll dive in, please. Okay. Honestly, the only reason why I came to it. 
It's worth it. Have you ever had that popcorn before? No, man. Good. I'm excited for you to try. I mean, it's like 30 minutes from my house. Yeah, so it's kind of like. It's a hike. I mean, it's 10 minutes from where I work, so I, I want to go back to work just so I can go here. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you think? That's good. Right? That's good. Right? I mean, I grew up on Fishers, right? That's always been. But it's like you really don't. I, I mean, prefer this. I do too. I think it's. I legitimately think it's better. That's and what I would taste the butter, which is impressive through camera. Mm. I mean, like, so I went to culinary school. Hey, mm. here I am. Yeah, yeah, a little note back. So, but oh. like, uh, the thing I really appreciate is it's like good caramel. So it actually has like that burnt sugar flavor, which is what caramel mm. is essentially. But sometimes you get caramel; it's just sweet, it's just straight mm. and sweet. Oh, and this sure. actually has like an undertone of like actual. You caramel. taste it, yeah, you taste yeah. it. For sure. I would have never known that that's what that was, mm -hmm. but there you go. I'm fascinated with people that that's went to culinary people. school. Yeah, you, yeah. Oh, There's really? so many yeah. little tricks that mm -hmm. you can do to make stuff taste better that people just don't know about. It's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. I love the Food Network. Where do you stand on air fryers? I'm a family of five. They don't make an air fryer big enough for us. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, so, I mean, they are what they are. Like, yeah. I think a better option is to get a convection oven. Okay. I just, we've been using ours like crazy. It's quick. It's, and the chip, like, it all comes out so great. And when it's just Courtney and I here, two chicken breast fit, boom, right in it, done. It's, I mean, I love it. Anyway, I just didn't know, I didn't know if chefs like looked down I on mean, air fryers. I air fryers. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you just fucking, pulling them out and next up. <laughs> So we just went through a huge kitchen renovation, and my, my in-laws live with us. So we were, like, using their kitchen, and they have one. I will say, made the best chicken nuggets. I mean, and it was quick. Ten minutes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Chicken nuggets. But me and my wife tried to use it for fried chicken one night for the family. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I was, they, everybody was eating while I was cooking more fried chicken. Yeah. It's, uh, I mean, I, I can see that being a problem, because the sure. bowl is small. But, like, again, for just us, or, like, you and Julia and stuff, like, mm -hmm. Two chicken breasts. I put pork tenderloin in it. Perfect. Put everything in there. I put hot pockets in there. I've heard hot bacon. Pockets? Have it's you tried crispy? Have you tried bacon? No. I've heard bacon is Bro? off the chain out of there. Crispy. And the cleanup is easy. Because that's always my problem with bacon, right? It's like all the grease splattered everywhere. in the oven. That's I like that too, it. but that's like, do you do it? Okay. All right. Do it in an oven. Set a pan on top of it and put a brick on it. So it flat keeps the bacon flat, completely crispy all the way through. Huh. Do you flip it? No, it just stays crispy. I'm telling you, that's cooking like tips. Yeah, so, that, when you was a whole new show, real life cooking talk. <laughs> when you cook bacon, the worst part is like the fat on the edges uh -huh. never gets crispy, and it curls up. Because it curls up. So you get a sheet pan put on top of the bacon, put it in the oven, crispy. All right, I'm gonna. We'll talk after because I, <laughs> I need to. Yeah, okay. Boom. Fascinating world. Anyway, we got juice can and lemon meringue. We got buttery caramel popcorn. Delicious. I like. You don't like. That's good. All right. Um, you brought more beer too. We can talk on that when we crack those open. All right. Um, so let's jump into a couple of movie related items now. First thing up, I just wanted to mention because we talked about the Oscars, we did the nominations, whatever, whatever. I said I was going to try to watch them all. I am still going to watch them all. I have not had a lot of time. We did watch one of the Oscar nominated movies though the other night. Courtney and I we watched The United States versus Billie Holiday, which was excellent, and I would highly recommend it if you love music. Uh, like historical drama type movies. The acting was phenomenal. I mean, absolutely phenomenal. But it was a heavy duty subject matter type movie. Like, Billie Holiday, I thought I knew about her. I don't know shit about her. She had one of the, like, her life, insane and not, hmm. like, she was born in a brothel. Um, her mother prostituted her out, like, at like 11, 14, something like something crazy. How old is she? Billy Holiday? Well, like, when was she born? Yeah, oh, yeah, a long time ago. Yeah, I know that. Time. Like, how uh, long? Ooh, the year she was born? Don't know. 20s, maybe? Okay. Uh, I'd have to fact check that. I don't know the actual date she was born. It's a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, I'm just thinking, like, uh -huh. brothels. So it's, yeah. It had to be old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's wild. It is wild. And then, but she became famous. She, but the, she wrote a song about a lynching, and the government at the time uh, was just, I mean, they were hard on her. They're trying to go after her for anything and everything. Um, and that's what the kind well, of... she used to be a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, he just likes crime movies. No, no, yeah. It, but listen, it's it, it's a good movie. It's a very good movie. And it's not... It doesn't leave you on like a happy note or anything. But it's, you know, it's a good drama. And I Not would, what I'm looking for in movies, if I'm being honest. But I, I will watch that's it fair. if you think it's good. 
I think the acting is feel great. About you, right? I don't want to finish it feeling like I sat through a class. No, I wouldn't say you sat through a class. I mean, you do learn about her. I didn't know anything about Billie Holiday. I don't know who, it is. I don't know who that is. She's a musician. Like, uh, mm-hmm. as far as, like, she's... You've a, heard that song, though, right? Ooh, you look like Buddy Holly. Oh, oh. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. Um, oh, the, cool. The song that's, like, awesome. referenced in the movie, Strange Fruit, is the one about okay. the lynching, and that's the like, kind of the centerpiece of the movie. Um, gotcha. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, Andrew Day, who is a musician um, that I've seen live and is excellent, I mean, incredible singer. Played Billie Holiday and like transformed, like is her. It was it was nuts. Cool. Um, and it was like her first real acting role. So I mean, she did like a voiceover for Cars, and she did one other like small role in um, uh, another movie. But this is like her first one. I mean, she won the Golden Globe for um, Best Actress. So I, I I think she's a front runner awesome. for Best Actress at the Academy Awards. Um, but yeah, I, I we'll see. Who knows? But I I, I would highly recommend. Alright, so movie. you're going to watch all of them. Oscar nominated movies. I'm gonna watch all the best pictures. Best this pictures. was a, this only thing nominated for here was best actor. What I want before the Oscars come out uh-huh. for you to pick which one of those movies is your favorite. The, I I will. I oh I fully plan to. Um, but yeah, I have to see. A, I have like three or f- out of the eight, I think I have three or four left. Uh, so I've seen half of them. Cool. And uh, but yeah. Anyway, um, that's it. That's all I had to do about that. Uh, do you have any other? Do you have movie news? I just want to show my shirt. Yeah, I saw this shirt online. I think it's the funniest thing I've ever seen. A little uh, mashup between Weekend at Bernie's and Iron Man. Yeah. Um, spoilers if you didn't see Endgame. <laughs> you know, <laughs> which should be uh, Mortal Kombat. Weekend well, at Bernie's versus the first Iron Man. I think that would be interesting. We, I thought we decided. No, we're we, not doing it now. Shit. But at some point in the future, yeah. I feel like we should talk about that. Okay. Different. I know. That would be, that'd be tough. As long as it's tough. I think Iron Man's going to walk away with it, though. Yeah. So then it's, it's not more tough. recent. Well, they're going to help him walk away. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> you said that. He's been thinking about that all no. week. He saw that no, shirt. No, I'm just firing it <laughs> on all cylinders today. <laughs> yeah. That's in his phone in a note. Yeah. It's yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> uh, okay, so then, I mean, I, yeah, I wore a cool shirt, too. I think a Goofy movie, one of my favorite, favorite kids' movies. Powerline. I used to love that when I was a kid too. It's a great. Leaning like, power cheese. Yeah. Yeah. I love, yeah. It's great. Um, oh, but yeah. Eagle. Classic. Classic. <laughs> yep. Um, endangered. I get it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Falcon and Winter Soldier. Let's get into it. Okay. All right. We have episode two and episode three. We're just gonna kind of touch on them real quick. Did you watch it all at once? How are you feeling about the show? What's yeah, going on? Yeah, I've like binge watched them in okay. like the last two days. I mean, personally. I mean, maybe I didn't get into it as deep as everybody else, but I mm-hmm. thought it was really good. Yeah. I started off with a bang episodes. Each episode has a bang in it. Mm-hmm. Um, I wasn't in love with them bringing back the villain and, and breaking them out. Okay, but... oh, time out. Just so everyone's aware, they're, spoilers, right? We're going to just like, it's not, we're not going to harp on anything, but just know when we're talking about this show, it, spoilers are going to come out. It's because yep. we're just doing a quick kind of, what'd you think about it? So, when he's referring to the villain, he's talking about Zemo. And it's just spoilers of two and three. Four will be debuting the day this comes out, so yeah. we haven't seen four yet. Yeah, so we're talking about episodes two and three right now, which have been out now. So you're talking about Zemo, right? Yeah, Zemo, yeah. Um, I'm kind of like Chris on this. I don't remember anybody's name, so you're going to have to help me out. That's fine. No, that's fine. Um, I heard his voice in the first one, and I was like, ooh. Like episode yeah. one, I heard, I was like, yeah. are they going to bring him? Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, it was, I, I thought it was good. It was a, I thought it was better than WandaVision of the two... So shows far. like I thought WandaVision was uh, they tried to be too artsy fartsy and this one they tried to stick more to what Marvel is okay so I enjoyed that Respect it was that. more Marvel-ish yeah. to me well to that point I would say yes in the action and yes and like the characters are all there or whatever but like as we talked about with episode one they got a little political trying to push an agenda with like the fal- like nobody knows who the Falcon is and that nobody's gonna get like he's, he can't get a bank loan and they they kept they kept up with that in episode two yeah, yeah. where the police harass him and it's like everybody doesn't know who the Falcon is and that was like a point that I was like how does in a, in a yeah, world yeah. where there are superheroes how does everyone not know who this guy is that and I but I I backpedal a little bit because I after like these are my initial reactions because mm-hmm. I'm a human and I have emotions like everyone else. But I try to then take a step back and look at things objectively, and I talk to other people, and I look for other perspectives to see, like, maybe what other people thought about it. It's like, well, is this what I'm seeing, too, or whatever, you know? Um, but 
But like I, I talked to a black friend of mine, and he was like, he's like, well, yeah, you see, you see it all the time yeah. with athletes mm-hmm. that like, you know, they get harassed or whatever. But then it's like, oh, you find out who it is, and you're like, oh, I'm sorry, big fan. And it's like, okay, that shit does happen. Okay, it does happen. That's all I'm saying. Like it, it is like it feels forced. It feels like feels like what they're doing a little bit is them forcing it, kind of like, like look at us, we're trying to be. Politically correct, but I mean that's just one aspect of so the show. I actually tend to agree a little bit with what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Um, the thing for me is like they stopped him for no reason other than he was black, dude. That's yeah. the, the, the my friend. We were in, that, that shot in Baltimore. Mm-hmm. We live in Baltimore. Yeah. Shot in that Baltimore. doesn't happen. I mean, maybe. I mean, there's definitely stop and frisks, mm-hmm. fit a suspect, all that bullshit that actually absolutely happens. Mm-hmm. Cheers, but. In this scenario, it's like, it just felt like they were pushing a message but, more than writing it in because they thought it fit with the storyline. See, I when I watched that scene, I just looked at it and I'm like, how did they not know who the Winter Soldier was? He was like a terrorist that was yeah. trained to like blow up an embassy in another country and kill a king. Yeah. And they didn't recognize him? That, both of them. And what your, your point is 100% accurate because my buddy, you remember Leon? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we were talking. We work together still. He's down there now too with me. Oh, but anyway, the point is, that was the point that he made. He was like, the crazy part about it, feeling forced, is like they're literally they weren't even like fighting. Right. Something yeah. a, a yeah, little yeah. bit of writing, and that would have been fine. It would have been a fixed. little bit of writing. It would have been fixed. See, if they were fighting each other for half a second, that would have been fine. Bro, like just if they tackled each other because they, they got to an argument. They didn't no. do it because they wanted to showcase yeah. the abuse that people are facing. Do you think so? Because I I thought it was the perfect way for them. Well, not the perfect. Obviously, that scene, they could have done it five million different ways. Right. But I thought the whole purpose of it was to get him in jail so that they could have a confrontation about their feelings. And it would be like they would have this argument about giving up the shield and finally have like a frank conversation. Because remember, the therapist came to, to bail him out. And then they made him sit down. And I thought that was... They did that scene to get Bucky in jail. That was after, right? Yeah, was yeah after. but they had to get Bucky in jail somehow. He had a warrant. So in order to get him... Which, had to be involved. And I agree Which they could have done it ten times better. He could have had him go through a checkpoint and there was just an argument. No, no, even yeah. that scene could have been fine if they just yeah. argued. Like mm-hmm. if they were fighting mm-hmm. and then the cops only pulled the black person off, I would have respected that way more. Okay. Yeah. You know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I, the message could have been the exact same. Just Bucky would be his ass though. Yeah. I, oh, that's sorry. another thing I don't <laughs> yeah, like yeah. about it is that I don't understand whether the Falcon is some sort of a superhuman or not based on his capabilities. Yeah. Like, he's, he's fighting and he's reacting like a superhuman, yeah. but there's been no storyline to support that. Plus, I'm, I mean, in, I'm, in, like, I'm in for it. I hope he is a super soldier. It's just... Yeah, I don't know if... I, the arm, obviously. The arm is... Not, that's not it, Bucky. Bucky. He's on, he's the Falcon. He said Falcon. Oh, did you? Oh, he I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Yeah, okay. I heard Bucky. But Bucky yeah. is a super soldier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You're right. The about Falcon it. is, like, crushing it. And all he has in my... Are those like, the yeah. wings that can protect him. Yeah, I guess you're he right. He doesn't have it in two or three, so that's one of the things I said to myself in three, like, I mean, all he's doing is shooting a gun. Yeah. Like, he, yeah. Didn't bring his, he didn't bring his special power with him. Like, who bring, doesn't bring their special yeah. power with them to a fight? And also, the new Captain America. I don't yeah. like I suspect, him. Uh, I don't like I him. I suspect that he is also a superhuman, or whatever they're called, super soldier. You think so? I think so, yeah. Okay. But... He's also doing things that normal people shouldn't be able to do. Falcon, especially. The way he whipped that shield. Oh, I, was like, I was like, huh. You've been practicing? Or so, how do you know how to do that? But at the end of the day, we're talking about Marvel, right? Yeah. A guy gets in a suit and flies up into space and lives. Like, I mean, you have to go yeah, into it. A little bit of, little bit of yeah. you got to accept. You got to accept. I don't, I don't argue that at all. You have to. But I get it. I just don't like him. He, like, what I don't like about him is the... Captain, the, the new Captain America. The new Captain America, John something. Him, like, the, the demanding the respect. Where Steve Rogers yeah. earned that shit over... T- like, like, yeah, and this yeah. guy is like, you will follow me or you're going to get out of my way. That's like a line he said. You know, like, we'll stand... That guy, like, what? They don't know you. They don't know you. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. So, I don't like it. But him. it's leading up to something. I feel like yeah, they're playing it. I'm, I'm like, convinced he's the bad guy. Yeah, it, of course. It totally is. I, I don't know for certain, but... There, I've seen um, speculation and stuff online. So from episode one, they go to Isaiah Brad, or episode two, they go to Isaiah when they're in Baltimore, Isaiah Bradley's house, right? This was a story. I thought that they wrote this story for this show, but this Isaiah Bradley being a super soldier before Steve Rogers mm-hmm. yeah, it's a being used and abused, 
It was in the comics. It was written. Oh, like, okay. 2002, 2003. I forget who wrote it, but it's called Truth, Black and White, or so. It's okay. it's a it's a Marvel comic. It's like a six or eight issue series, and it's out there. And it's, now, of course, it's impossible to find. I was like, ooh, I gotta see this, but everybody wants big mm-hmm. bucks for it now because they see what's going and on. They see the hologram charms on. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but I, I, but I once I found that out as well, I was like, oh, okay, so now it's not. It's not like they're they are. It, it some of it does feel forced, but this is this this is previously written material. It's right. been out for twenty years, okay. so it, it, that that part kind of like yeah, that, reeled that, me in a little bit. It didn't bother me at all. I, mean, yeah. I thought that was great. I, I would, dude. You about to say a scene? What scene? Oh, I was gonna say no. Go 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 go. The scene I really loved was when they showed up in Baltimore and they said, "Hey, it's Black Falcon." He said, it's "Just Falcon, kid." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then he's like, "What is it?" He said, "Like, so, are you black, kid?" Yeah, right. Yeah. Got him. Yeah, that was, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah. That was funny. So, I really did like that scene. Mm -hmm. I like the whole premise, though, because I feel like it was one of the things that stretched it too far for me in the original Marvel movies is, like, someone would get that technology. Come on. There's too much money in, like, being able to have somebody with superhuman strength. You Like, Mm -hmm. it was impossible that it didn't get leaked. So, I like that they're bringing that out because... Yeah, I mean, every bad guy in the world, every company with a ton of money would be spending millions of dollars trying to recreate Steve Rogers. You mean there's like too much money. super villain Elon Musk? Yeah, our, yeah, of course. Like, there's too much money super in it. Villain. Too much. There's too much money in it. They follow the money. Everywhere in the world, follow the money. So there, people would have been doing it from day one. That, well, yeah, yeah. So I, I like it. I like that they did that. It makes it more realistic. But wasn't me. that part of another thing? Yeah. Well, some, pe- some people just can't do it, though. If you remember from, like... What was it? Um, that would stop bad people from Iron killing Man. people that came no, 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 I'm, I'm saying like the technology and whatnot. The like um, Iron Man two, right? They Iron they Man wanted Man. that, or no? Was it Iron Man one? It was Iron Man. It was the first one with Jeff Daniels. He's they couldn't get the technology figured out without you know. They were trying to recreate. Because the they're like ten years away. Yeah, yeah it just it, so. It's been ten years, bro. Part of that, yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and part of the, but so. Um, oh, excuse me, but yeah, I see what you're saying, and it. It's just, it made, I don't know. It made it more realistic. Like, yeah, people have been trying to do this for a long time. Yeah. They succeeded. They kept it on the wraps, like, and I now mean, they've succeeded more. To your point, the government created the Falcon's armor. Mm-hmm. Yes. And, yeah, it didn't work for what they needed it, but now they see it working, and they're like, yeah, no, we're not going to do anything with that. Yeah. Until yeah. the final episode when a thousand Falcons descend. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't. Oh, but what do you think overall? Like, okay. I think I think yeah, the action so actually to the show. Like, yeah, because we're we're getting a little cyber. But what I want to say is like, I think the action sequences have been mm-hmm. insane from episode one. Oh, I mentioned yeah. it, like the the flying through in it, like the in and out of the helicopters is insane. Then the big one in episode two, two semis driving next to each other and they're fighting on top. I mean, that was mm-hmm. awesome, man. Yeah. So awesome. And then I think the third one they scaled it back a little bit. It was more detective work. Developed the story. Yeah, yeah. De- but. I think it's all, it, it's starting to, and they even scale, like, the whole political agenda seemed to kind of, I don't want to say dissipate, but, like, it wasn't as right. prevalent in episode mm-hmm. three. Um, but I'm loving, like, all the characters coming back. You've got um, Peggy Carter's daughter or niece or whoever that girl is. What's her? I think she's a villain. Um, you've got her. Zemo's back, man. Um, you've got, obviously, Zemo? Zemo. Oh, Zemo's, Zemo's the, the guy that oh, get yeah. out of jail. Okay, okay. Um, Lamar, he's he's the, the one that guy from Civil Winter, War. Civil War. The guy, dude, the, so by the way, if you haven't seen on Disney Plus, they have a like a series Marvel Legends. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They, dude, so they I saw it, but I haven't watched. Do they recap every character's story arc, and it's so helpful because I was thinking for a minute, I was like, who the fuck is Emo? But then I was like, oh yeah, his family got killed in Sokovia. That's like your favorite Marvel movie. What? Civil War? No, yeah, Endgame. Oh, it was Civil War for a while. Well, it, it, they it, they progressed. So okay, Civil okay. War, and then after Civil War, oh, Infinity War is my favorite. Oh, okay, no, okay. Okay. but but yeah, I, it just dude, it's so much shit. It's like I, I you know, I get wrapped That's up how good and it stuff. Is. Yeah, but so it, it's so awesome to give you. They did it for Wandavision. So for Wandavision, they have one for her, one for Vision, and then they had one for Bucky. They had one for Sam. They had one for Zemo, and it was just like. Oh, yeah. It's like the sh- little things you right. forget. Like his family, his whole family got killed in Sokovia. So then his whole agenda for Civil War. Oh, yeah. He caused right. that whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just like, boom, it's great. So it's like, I would highly recommend watching those. If you're watching this and you're like, oh, this is good. Like, watch those little uh-huh. care. They're like five to eight minutes a pop. You okay. know, it takes no time at all. 
Disney except five day movies. They just print. Disney wins, bro. They're printing money. Uh, they win. Just, yeah. Nothing they do is bad. Yep. When I was Nothing. a kid, they made me as happy as I could be. And now as an adult, what? they're still doing <laughs> it. They're just delivering. What does Disney not own, too? Be I mean, Disney, bro. Me. Well, maybe they do. Maybe right they now. own you, buddy. Yeah. You're doing a podcast about movies. That's fair. About <laughs> their TV show. For no money. <laughs> For yeah, no man. money, yeah. And speaking of, I ju- like right before this, I just saw on Facebook, Avengers World is opening at Disneyland in California. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The pictures look insane. I mean, unreal. Yeah, yeah, I'm a big Disney guy, so like... Mm-hmm. I would... Mm, just throwing it out, I think I would rather go, because I haven't been either, the Hogwarts than Avengers nope. Land. I mean, Hogwarts was disappointing, man. Okay. And Universal, I, it was cool, but like, I don't know. First you're of all, Disney I, guy, hate, right? I know. So listen, my biggest problem with Hogwarts: do not make me pay two emissions to go to one park. Yep, that's some yep. BS. Yeah, I was so pissed off about that. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know anything about. Okay, it. you got to take a train and buy a new is park. Is it the Hogwarts train? It is. It's pretty bad. I haven't been, but I know it because I was looking at it. Yeah. 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 But there's two rides in one in like Adventureland, and mm-hmm. then there's two rides in another part. Yeah. But you have to pay double emission. Yep. Yeah. So you have to pay like, I mean, when everything's said and done, you're dropping like four hundred bucks to go on four rides. Pay me my money. <laughs> well, I'm sure my people will be in cash. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. Yes. I mean, at least Disney like it's just, steep. Everything's steep in Disney, but at least when they do a land, it's all in one fucking Yeah, area. okay. Like Star Wars land. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At least Star Wars land, which, of course, I mean. I do want to check that California? out, too. California? No, Star Wars. I mean, Disney Galaxy's Disney. Edge and Disney World of Florida. Oh, they're it's both. Insane. I'm sorry. They're both. I went to the yeah. one in L.A. Now, Star uh-huh. Wars land is more intriguing to me than Avengers. So I don't know what's going to be in Avengers land. It's just like Earth. No, dude. It's you don't figure. Don't figure. It's I Disney. don't know yet. It's Disney. I don't know yet. It's Galaxy's Disney. Edge, sick. I gotta it's see Hogwarts. Insane, though. I need to go see Hogwarts. Yeah, you do. You do need to see it. I'm just saying. Like, I want to see the Millennium Falcon too. I heard that's awesome. I have pictures next to it. It's amazing. It's insane. Yeah. Yeah. This like, man, you just went. So I got three kids. When we went on the ride the first time, yeah. I let they, each one of them know I'm being a pilot. Sit your butt in the back. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's dude, no doubt. Yeah, I'm, I'm driving. Not even close. It's yeah. it. They do own me. What am I talking about? They they friggin' own me, man. It's crazy. Um, yeah, uh, but yeah, that's so we can wrap uh, the show up real quick. It's it, it, I, I I I'm intrigued by the direction it's going. I'm we got three episodes left, uh, four, five, and six. I like that. It's a short six episode series. Um, and uh, ooh. oops, party so. foul. Yeah, uh, but I think it's listen. And I've said this for everyone. Marvel has not let me down yet. Not once. Even when it's a Captain bad. Marvel, I know we we it's not great. It's not okay. It's still enjoy it to be. It's okay. But hey, anyway, I watch it. But they haven't like I haven't watched a Marvel product since Iron One and, or Iron Man the first one. And like that sucked. Right, the MCU product. Yeah, the, exactly, exactly. I'm not knocking that. I will say I was not a huge fan of the third episode. We'll see where it goes. Yeah, yeah. It again. And the other thing, I don't love the chemistry. Like they, I don't. Like what's his face? I said it. I said it when we reviewed um, outside the wire. I don't think I Anthony Mack is a good. Too hard. Yeah, I don't think he's a good actor. He's trying. I don't too think hard. he's a good actor. I like Sebastian Stan. Anthony Mack. I agree. It, it's just like it's like. I comment. Trying remember? to. He's like the. Oh water. yeah. I comment. I mean, he's the Falcon in everything he does. Yeah. And not in a good way. Just yeah. he's, he's the watered guy. down Will Smith. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Will Smith's pretty good. Both. I mean, Will no. Smith. Will Smith is amazing. One yeah. of my favorite actors of all time. Oh, yeah. He he tries to emulate him. You think? He's like the, that's what the it is? yeah, the athletic guy, okay. the muscle guy, the badass, yeah. and then the quick snarky jokes. Yeah, like that's the fun loving wannabe Will Smith. No offense. That's I think it's because Bucky's character is just that much better too. Yeah, I mean Bucky's character is one of my favorite characters. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it, it maybe it's what this. I don't know, but just because it's been in other things too, where I've been like, he's the same person in every movie, you know? Or yeah, whatever. but it's like Samuel and Cousin. I, I'm with Bucky. Yells B- and everything. Yeah. I love Samuel, though. I'm with Bucky. <laughs> I'm I'm like, that shield was yours. Like, oh. He gave that to you. He gave that to you. And and you gave it We're away. We're going to talk about this. I guarantee you, or I think at some point in this series, there will be a situation where it comes to a head, and he goes, do you know how hard it is for a black man to represent America like that? See, I don't. I mean, I hope you're With not. Today's right. political climate and the, right. the stuff that they're pushing on the show, 
And honestly, I would respect that. Because at least he gives a valid answer that Bucky can't dispute. Well, he hasn't even said why yet, really. Right, yeah. so when he does, I yeah. bet you that is at least implied or discussed. That you never thought once about what it is for mm-hmm. me to represent America as a black man and mm-hmm. how America treated my people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Which makes a lot of sense. And if you didn't do that, you should have. Because that, that's going to be it, pretty good. It does make sense. But, like... I can't get over it. <laughs> I can't get over it. <laughs> yeah. I know, it's nuts. I, the first time I saw it, I was like, what? Can't you do that like, in one yeah. of the episodes? Because that is... Um, yeah, it's no, no, it's fine. It's fine. Um, I, but it was like the mantle being passed. And I, I get what like the point that you're making and what he might say. But like for me, it's bigger than that. Because it's like, here is the guy giving it to you. Because you earned it. You deserve it. You're like, and it's just, I, I'm with him. Like, why'd you give it up? And you can already kind of see, he's already seeing like, damn, I kind of regret giving it up a little bit. But maybe, maybe, maybe not. That's and how I set see it up, though, because uh, what's his name came out and, be, and was trying to lead him into saying, "You need to keep the shield." Yeah. Like, if you, are you? Do you really want to do this? Mm-hmm. Which, by the way, that was one of the biggest mess ups that Marvel made. They should have went with st- stuck with the original guy that played that character, War Machine. Yeah. I've I've really liked Don. Are oh, you talking about Terrence Howard? Did you talk yeah. About that that wasn't Marvel. That was him. Really? He wa- he wa- no. He wanted the same money Robert Downey Jr. was getting. Well, that was stupid. Uh, I heard they offered him money, and then when they came back, they offered him a lot less than they originally did. Oh, he just doesn't look like a war machine. I mean, here's a skinny, skinny dude yeah. that looks like a rail and like. I yeah, mean, but you're cool. in an iron suit. What does it matter? But you're in the military. Dude. But like, he's in the air force, first of all. Oh okay. shit! <laughs> okay, just kidding. Just kidding. Joke. I'm just kidding. My brother's in the army. It's a joke amongst yeah, them all. Yeah, okay. Don't fry me, oh okay? God. It was just a joke. Just a joke. But you don't. That's my. That was another point I made one time. Is Tony Stark could have been Iron Man forever. Because he's in a metal... All he's got to do is be able to pilot the suit and you're good. You can be yeah, Iron Man to your suit. Even if you're in a suit... I mean, Tony Stark still came out with bruises and... I mean, like, you can't be a punk and be Iron Man. Okay, but that doesn't mean Don Cheadle's a punk. Like, it... <sighs> Terrence he, Howard's not an athletic man. He's not, like... He's just taller and a little bit more stocky up top. I think he did a better job. I, that was one of the I things... I did. I, I like I Terrence I do Howard. agree with what you're saying. I'm, Terrence Howard was great. I thought that was a big mistake. Because he was, like, the, the right amount of... Uh, pushback to Tony. Yeah. He was snarky too. Like I don't believe. Mm-hmm. I don't. I mean, I'm bad with actors' names. When they were drunk on the plane, and he said, "The problem is Don you don't respect yeah. anything." In yeah. the first Iron Man. Yeah. Great, great <laughs> dialogue. Drunk. Yeah. Listen, I'm not saying I don't like Terrence Howard. I liked him as a. But what I'm saying is that you fucked up by saying you're not coming back. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. I also really like Don Cheadle. So how can, I'm okay yeah, I mean, him. I was okay with it, but it just how it always he, bugged me. He's got. A third of the screen time? How can you ask for the same amount of money? That's what I'm saying. That's not what, from what I understand, happened. Uh, that's not the way he I was it. he was promised six million to do the sequel, uh-huh. and then they came back and said, "We'll give you one." He said, "Well, what changed?" And they said, "Well, we pulled, and we really don't need you." Ooh. And he went, "I called Iron Man, the guy who I got the job in the first place, and said, hey, make a call, help me out here.'" And he didn't return my call for six months. That's why him and Robert Downey Jr. don't talk. Uh, oh, shit. I take a million to do it. I, I, Sign me up, dude, bro. Son, because he said he would, but he, at that point, it's like I would be pissed. I bought a fucking, but he lost. I out. bought a house. He for bought five million, million dollars. Ten million dollars though, because they made so many movies where he just did cameos. That's he would get point. a million dollars. He had his emotions yeah, decide for him, and like uh, they had to have the plan. Do you think they had the plan back then? They no, had to. No, no not an Iron Man two. Right, not an Iron by by the first Avengers. That's the what, success of that. Yeah, they started going. Okay, where are we going with this? I, I think know, that's. Where, I think that from the beginning, they no knew it was like that. Man. You mean before, or after the first Iron Man? First Iron Man. The, as soon as the first Iron Man hit, I thought they, the wheels were spinning. Yeah, you know, I think I mean, Disney yeah. is a smart company, right? Like they. Yeah. He bought property in Florida to build Disney World yeah. before a park was even built, and yeah. he kept buying property. They don't do stupid stuff. They had a contingency plan that they were going to make the movie. But they do and stupid stuff. Hit, they were they weren't gonna do it, but yeah. I guarantee you they knew that they were trying to make something big. Of course, I mean you shoot for the moon. Yeah, but I think it wasn't until the, the first they, Avengers they success finalized the storyline after the Avengers. I, I, get, I get they set they I set the whole timeline up, and then from then they go, okay, now yeah, we got to put all this together. I get what you're saying, I get but what you're saying. Yeah. yeah, he was stupid. He could have made million. I mean, he could have made so much more money. I, I mean, come on, we're talking millions. Like yeah. it's like come on. I, I would have taken. What? Five hundred thousand. I'm being honest. I, you, dude, that movie. Oh my if god! If you're looking at just business, I wouldn't be surprised 
if Disney wanted Don Cheadle to begin with? And they oh, said no. Amazing. And after Iron Man, Don Cheadle said, I'll do it. And they said, all right, well, let me get, let me piss off Terrence Howard real quick and get you in this spot. Oh, thanks. Side note, this is Shane. This is what he brought. Calvert Brewing Company. Upper Marlboro. It's good. I is do it? enjoy this. Yeah, yeah really? It's, it's like a really light IPA for people who don't like IPAs. Okay. I, I give them this. Can art. Uh, Excellent adventure. Awesome. Really cool. Bringing back the nineties. Yep. Um, Seven percent. Calvert Brewing Company. Excellent adventure IPA. They got it. And the thing I appreciate about Calvert Side Note is they like are a gamut. Like I feel like a lot of the craft breweries, it's like heavy, 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 heavy. Calvert does lagers. They do gooses. They, I mean, they just run the gamut. So that's I why, appreciate that's it. Why like our boys yeah, I mean, heavy sees the same yeah. way. You want to hear something to blow your mind? Back when we say to people now, I miss back in the nineties. It was like us back in the 90s telling our parents, our parents telling us that they missed the 60s. Oh, uh, shit. Three oh. years ago, bro. It's nuts. It's deep. Yeah, it's nuts. I mean, I don't know who would miss the 60s, but <laughs> think about that. The relevance to us telling kids now that we missed the 90s is the relevance of our parents telling us that they missed the 60s. Mm. I mean, I got three Weird. kids and I tried, I put on VH10 the other day and they were like, what the hell was that? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Be kind of rewind. I mean, right. that was a yeah. big... Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, y'all don't, they'll never know about that Joey went to Blockbuster and, uh, and the, 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 the you wall. watch that, right? Well, you watch not it? yet, not yet, not yet. Come on, man. What I is it? There's a documentary that just came out called The Last Blockbuster. It's yeah, on, I saw it. It's, right, it's, uh, yeah. And it's, it's on, on Netflix of all places. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just haven't had time. I, I, that was a crazy story, though, man. You have to watch it because it's I'm a going crazy to. story. I'm going and to. I wanted to. I was coming here, and I was like, I'm going to drop this somehow so that we can talk about this for two seconds. Because, yeah. like, once I'm, you hear the story of Netflix and Blockbuster, mm-hmm. you're going to be like, man, that's, like, crazy. No, I can't wait to watch it. I just, it's been, I'm telling you, when I say I've been busy, like, with work, I just, and then watching all the stuff between the movie combats coming in. Now, we got, we've ramped it up, so we got Thank more you. to watch. I, yeah. When I text you, yeah. I was like, I don't know how you guys do this. Like, <laughs> I was like, this is intense. Like, yeah. I'm staying up to midnight while my wife's sleeping with the earpods watching the thing. <laughs> ah, shit. We well, appreciate that. Yeah, man. Um, okay. Wrap it up. I'm, wait- I'm I'm ready to see where this goes. We've got three episodes left. So stay tuned, right? We're yeah. going to finish. Hopefully it ends mm-hmm. strong and then maybe we get something cool. You never know. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. Next segment. You ready? Movie combat. Movie combat. You ready for this? No. So here's the thing, too guys. Hard. It's too hard. Too hard. I screwed up this week. I forgot to put the poll out yesterday. Ah, big deal. Okay? So what I'm going to do is put the poll out tonight and have maybe some results from the viewers by tomorrow. But right now, I don't have any viewer results to give you. So all you're getting from us, it, we went, I mean... We said two weeks ago what it was going to be. So maybe you watch. I'm sure you have an opinion at this point. Uh, but the movies, The Dark Knight Rises versus The Avengers from 2012. The first Avengers movie. Okay? Movie combat. Movie combat. You have to do that every time. Every oh, am time. I supposed to? Yeah. Oh, sorry, boss. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, okay. This is... The hardest one yet, I think. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's really, really I hard. I didn't cuss, so I wouldn't have to drink. Fuck. I've got to tell you, when you first did I was like, oh, this is going to be easy. If it was any of the other Dark Knights, I, it would have been hard. And then I watched it again, I was like, it's not. No, man. It's this not easy. Bane is a badass. I, oh, you were leaning toward Avengers originally. I was. I was like, oh, this is easy. Oh, I, just because dang. of the Dark Knight you picked, I was like, oh, this is going to be easy. But then I watched it again, I was like, man, I forgot how... Badass exactly. Thing. I would and say I think the first people, Dark Knight's better. I think but. you mean the, yeah, obviously. But I thought the same thing. Yeah. But I watched the trilogy, boom, 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 in like a weekend. Mm-hmm. Boom, bang, bang. And it, it's it, incredible. Yeah. It's absolutely incredible. And I think people forget that. I think the shadow of Marvel is so big, and the fucking stink of DC. DC movies right now, it's kind of like in people's brains, mm-hmm. but I think they forget how incredible that movie was, and it, I I just can't even imagine what it would have been if Heath Ledger didn't Right, they away. overcame a big obstacle. A I, huge obstacle. I would say if I had one criticism, one criticism, I wrote this down, is I thought The Dark Knight's time in the prison, 
it felt a little rushed. Like his back was broken, and mm-hmm. two weeks later he's out. Like I felt like the well, time it wasn't actually two weeks though, right? It was like six months. It was like six months. It was like I thought it said sixty eight days. No, until no, it was it was it was months. It seemed yeah. to me that I didn't feel like they did a good enough job. Yeah, showing that first. That was my only criticism. I'm with that. But if I mean, well, that was a lot of people's gripe, I think when it first came yeah, out, they were like, I, Dan Diaz. We talked. I oh, remember okay, him okay. being like, he's like, dude, he was in there for two days. Guy, it was months. If you, you look at when he leaves and you look Guy. at when, if you look at when he comes <laughs> yeah, you look at when he leaves and when he goes back, the the it's city the, the, the city looks I mean completely yeah. different. It's destroyed. Like, all they gotta do is like yeah. superimpose a date, like show no, so, I mean like, they just had to do something to make my brain realize how big of a gap that was, that. and I wouldn't have said it. I think there is. I think there is something. Somebody says a line or something that he's been away for five months. This is no a four megaton nuclear bomb. Pull the core out of the reactor. No, you cannot. This is the only power source capable of sustaining it. If you move it, the core will decay in a matter of months. Five, by my calculations. Then it won't go off. And for the sake of your children, Dr. Pavel. Indeed, I hope it does. It's it's in there. I'm uh, almost positive. I don't know, man. Now, you got two people saying that. It just didn't hit hard enough. First of all, Danny said this when the movie came out. I don't. Uh, one, one thing about don't the movie. Don't let him talk about it. Got it. Got it. One thing about it that I didn't like. That you talking was, about the Dark Knight Rises right now? Yes. Okay. Is that they came out the same year, by the way. Bane was more understandable. I well, I watch it with subtitles and I love it. And I, I didn't hate his voice, but there were words where I really fought to understand what he was saying. And I get it. I mm-hmm. guess that was the effect of it. But if he just spoke a little clear, a little clear, it's not it been different. For me. I don't think it's his fault. I think it's Chris Nolan's fault. I'm not blaming anyone. I'm just saying in general. Well, because of based on what happened with Tenet, like I told you in theaters, yeah, not, couldn't hear what was being uh, said yeah, in yeah, Tenet. Um, even in Dunkirk. When yeah. Tom Hardy's the yeah. pilot, it's almost impossible to hear what's being Child. said. It drives me insane, yes. dude. When yeah. the movies do that, it drives me insane. I do not yeah. want to read a movie. Get my man some audio. Movie, I watch yeah. a book. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I read a book. Like, yeah. I don't like books. That's why I watch movies. Yeah. I'm 100%. I watch, I actually put subtitles and everything so I can feel like I'm learning. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> You're probably not. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> probably not. I feel like Michael Scott. You're not from Arbutus? Uh, he's from Arbutus. I am from Arbutus. Yeah, he's from Arbutus. Bro, what's wrong with the Bucians? He's an Arbutian, baby. Yeah, you know? See, he's a Catonian by blood. That's exactly what a Catonian would say. I'm from Baltimore. I love, Pig Town. I love wedding crashers, and are you sure you're not from Arbutus? Pig Town. Pig Town. Now, Pig can't Town. convince me you're not Catonian. Pig Town. <laughs> I grew up on Hergamer Street in Pig Town. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious, because he didn't know. Did the know. two things. <laughs> oh, that is funny, man. Oh my god, that that's so funny. Because I get so much shit for being a Catonian. No, you don't. There's nothing wrong with it. Being a Catonian is more desirable than being a Bucian. First of all, Catonian's sure. in a real fucking world. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. But... Neither is a Bucian. Um, Arbucian is in the dictionary. Look it up. I said a Bucian. Mm. Arbution is in the dictionary. But not in the sense that you use it. No. I mean, come no, on. No, it's, not, it's not even in the dictionary. I'm just talking shit <laughs> right now. You'd have wasted a lot of my time. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> um, oh, my God. Yeah, so the sound, fix the sound in the yeah. movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But That's your going, gripe. We're going head to head. But Christian Bale's voice is annoying as hell. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, let's be honest. When he turns into the Batman, like, I accept it, but... I mean, is he trying to act like he's going through puberty? Because he just makes his voice so much deeper for no reason. Yeah, I remember at the time being like, it's like, mm. But it did not bother me when I watched it again. Like, this most recent time, didn't bother me at all. <laughs> I watch it with subtitles now. So I accept I hear it. what they're saying. I accept it because it was three movies, but if mm. if you were to pull me the first time, I would have been like, that's the worst part of the movie. Just yeah. talk like a normal okay. person. Yeah. Why are you making your voice sound deep? Just talk like a normal person. Alright, so where are we at with these movies? Hold on a minute. So here we I got it. There's like, dude, <sighs> I think they they couldn't have made a better movie than what they did for the for the Dark Knight Rises with what they had, right? Bane is one of the best villains I've ever seen on TV. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. One of the best. He's got this line, he's got a, a bunch of lines, but one that I love. You don't fear death, you welcome it. Your punishment must be more severe. I love that line. When he says that to him, oh my God, love that. 
And they the cast, Michael Caine, might be my favorite Alfred. Gary, yeah. Gary Oldman might be my favorite Commissioner Gordon. They, they couldn't have got Anne Hathaway? Perfect. Perfect. Everyone in... You don't think so? I mean, maybe for the role. I just don't like her in, in general. Oh, I, I don't like her in general either, but she's perfect for I, the role. She's okay for the role. And, dude, rewatching these, man, I... The anger I felt, mm -hmm. I were, it, it all came flooding back. The first mm -hmm. time she betrays him when Bane breaks his back, I, and then the fury, I was just like, you, and then, and then the, 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 the twist about uh, Miranda, Miranda, Miranda is, oh, yeah. is Ra's al Ghul's daughter. Oh, that's written into the comics. It's, I was a big DC fan. I, I mean, it like, <sighs> it, and, spoiler, that was supposed to be Heath Ledger. What? What? That he was... Yeah, he was in control of Bane, and that was all his plan. No, nah, really? Yeah, originally. Oh, wow. Because he was going to be in the sequel. Like in the movies? No, in this movie. Oh, okay, sorry. Then, then when he died, they changed it. For Christopher Nolan to be able to change gears like he did, I, I mean, the culmination of his vision for his art, the, the trilogy... Yep. I, the Avengers badass, though. Yeah. My score. I saw that. My score. Okay. 9.5. Oh. For what? Dark Knight Rises. 9.5. Okay. 9.5. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's too I mean, high. Wait a minute. I will. So, anytime it's on. I'm going to I'm going to counter this a little bit. I want to defend Avengers here. No, no, no. We haven't even gotten into Avengers yet. We're not talking about Avengers yet. We so. we scored one, then we scored another one. Mm. My Dark Knight Rises score mm -hmm. is a 9 four. Okay. So, I was 8-9. Okay. 8.9. I mean, to me to be in the nines like I will watch I, it anytime it's on. Yeah. yeah. I know that's why I'm looking at it like if you round 8.9 up, that's a 9. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's... Maybe one time. Maybe when Avengers is on, you won't. I... <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah. know. <laughs> we know where this is going with this, stuff. Yeah. Well, I'm in the 9, so yeah. if they're both on, I gotta get both my TVs. I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. I was in. Dark Knight Rises, to me, is a near... Per or, I'm sorry, The Dark Knight is a near-perfect movie. That's like a 9.8 for me. I mean, it's like... It's there. The Dark Knight is the not only is it is it a great comic book movie. Mm -hmm. It's a crime movie. It's an action movie. It it's almost perfect. I'm in mean, my top five. Yeah, well, nine eight should be your favorite movie of all time. Heat's my favorite. There's movie not of all a better ten. Is no ten. It can't be a ten. Heat is a ten. Avengers Endgame is a ten. Okay. A ten. No. Endgame. How do you 10? compare them? Huh? How do you compare them? Infinity War ten. Okay. Okay. I give you. I'm not giving. Uh, That's my score. I could, right. nothing's perfect on life. I think so. I think he's perfect. I think he's perfect. I think I don't even know. What do I take away from the Dark Knight? The voice. Oh, okay, that takes it less. Right. Less than perfect. They're perfect. They are perfect. I don't know. Okay. I mean, Heath Ledger was by far the best Joker perfect. of all time. Best villain of all time. I mean, it's we proved that. <laughs> I mean, yeah. 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 <laughs> but Avengers, like, I feel like right, so we'll get into there. Avengers okay. now. Here we Boom. Go. Here we go. Avengers is a fantastic movie. I agree. Fantastic movie. I agree. I watched it again, thinking like, because Infinity Wars to me. Is at nine, eight, nine, seven. Like mm -hmm. Infinity Wars, exactly. Is but uh, there's no Infinity Wars without Avengers. That's right. fair. And and like not just the way Samuel L. Jackson manipulates them all to becoming what they are, mm -hmm. and like it, I mean it's awesome. The way you feel when the one dude gets killed by Loki, I mean you just can't. Beat Seeing it. all the characters come together for the first time it's in that amazing. movie that had never been done before. Amazing. And that that that. Epic moment when they own that forever. Oh like, yeah, I mean you can't like name another movie that has that many. Big Justice stars. League, bro. We're not going there. <laughs> I mean, Justice League is like they, they have the stepchild. They have the, the, they have the star. Like, the new Justice League is not bad, by the way. The, oh, she's eleven. Star, was good. Oh, she's eleven. They're they're out there, but what I'm saying for this yeah. is for superhero movies. They, it's a, yeah, cream of the crop. Yeah, cream of the cream. Um, so, if I could defend Avengers. You don't need to defend it. Everybody loves I mean, it. What's if that? I could avenge Avengers. Avenge it. Uh, it. It's a time period piece. I think over time, Dark Knight Rises is going to hold up better, personally. Huh. But we lived through the evolution. Yep. Iron Man was jaw-droppingly awesome. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. Like, you watch that all the time. Yep. And then, as the movies progressed, they kept getting better. Some weren't as good. Yep. But they were still watchable. You were excited to see them. Then they said we're gonna put them all on a big screen, and all I could think was, they're gonna mess this up. This isn't gonna be good. I think a lot of people thought that. And then 
to date, when that movie dropped, it was the best of all of them. Mm -hmm. So you have a, a slew of great movies. Some great, some good, but a lot of quality content. Mm -hmm. And then this comes out that no one thinks he's going to do, and is better than all of them. Yeah. Dark Knight Rises, for me, comparably, the only thing is, is I thought The Dark Knight was better than The Dark Knight Rises. With yeah. this, Avengers came out, and that was the top of the MCU universe mm -hmm. when it dropped. Yeah. I, yeah. I Listen, you don't have to... I love it, right? If you give me this, this matchup in 2012 when these come out, I go Avengers right. all day long, okay? But now, the MCU has grown into something way bigger. Right. Okay? And I'm watching it now almost 10 years later. And I think as much as I love Avengers, because I watched that, that I watched that again too. It it doesn't lose a step. I was just so into the Dark Knight Rises that it's like because that was the end there. That was that's yeah, the yeah, end. Yeah. So that's the end, like Avengers Infinity War and Endgame mm -hmm. is the end. So it, it it's a little bit different now that I think the MCU has grown. And I'm not taking away. I'm just saying, you put put Dark Knight Rises against Endgame. Crush. I mean, I, it's not even a question for me which one I love more. But these ones, huh. that's where I start to, or Infinity War, whatever. Sure. You put it against one of those the, the last two Avengers movies, and it's not. I don't even so think got, about it. I, in my personal, have Avengers over Endgame. The first Avengers. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. But not Infinity War. Not Infinity War. Okay. So you okay, put it against okay. Infinity War, well, not Infinity War. I might agree with you on that one. We just differ there. We just differ. Well, it course, is what it is. It's opinion. It, you know. I think, but like, all of, obviously, all this is opinions, but I yeah. think it really speaks to, like, your personality, too, right? Like, do you like the story to wrap up, or do you like the story to build up? Like, if you like Avengers better, you like the backstory. Yeah. That's what's important to you, getting the character development and getting to the peak. Or do you like the peak better? So that's how I looked at this. Like, when I watched... Avengers, I was like, man, I just appreciate all the character development that they're building on that I know the ending. So I was opposite for me. I felt like watching Avengers again, mm -hmm. it was better because I knew where the character was going and mm -hmm. I appreciate all the subtle things. Like the subtle Scarlett Johansson and the Hulk. Their yeah. little banner back and forth. Yeah. I really appreciated it more okay. because I knew where it was going. Yeah. Where Dark Knight, I was like, I mean, it's a good movie, right? Like Dark Knight Rise, I appreciate it, but it, it wasn't the. It didn't build the same way for me. Well, because it's. I mean, it's the end. But yeah. that's what I'm trying to say. To me, I think the build up is more important than the ending. Okay. Where to, I think to you, just based off of your movies that yeah. you like, the ending is more important. I mean, look at Games of Thrones. You hate Games of Thrones because of the ending. I. I don't hate it. I hate the end. I hate the end. I but don't hate the, the show. But that's the point I'm trying to make. I yeah. think to you, the ending is more important than getting there. To me, no, getting there I, is more important. No, than no, never no, gonna be happy no, in no, life with that. No mentality. shot. If listen, if the ride to get to the end of a, like to get to Endgame was not as amazing as it was, I wouldn't have given two shits. But I cared about those characters so much because they were all so well written the whole way there. Every movie along the way, <laughs> huh? He <laughs> pointed. <laughs> But, like, look at it, though, right? Like, so... Okay, so you like Endgame the best ending movie, right? Of these trilogies... Dude, if, but if we're talking... Endgame is a 9-9 nine, nine for me. Uh, if any, was a 9-8. I mean, I it's think like you're making my point for me. You're saying the ending's always better if it's good than if the build-up to it. And I'm saying my personality tells me that the build-up is more important to me than the ending. Because I'm always disappointed with endings. That's the point I'm trying to make. Like, okay. to me... I, I get what you're saying. You get what I'm saying. You're going to hate dying, but life is great. Yeah, exactly. I won't. Um, <laughs> dying sucks, but getting there better be fun. Guys, this was Shane's last time on the show, so we're not going to nope, this. No, no, we're not teaming up. Heck no, we're not. <laughs> 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 I feel like I'm. By, by the way, no, 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 I'm kidding. I'm kidding. This is a good beer, by the way. Um, I haven't said that yet, but it is very. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm glad you like it because I know you're not an IPA guy. Mm -hmm. and no, that's yeah, why it's great. I picked yeah. this one. So. No, and so I'm, I'm trying to be. I really stepped up my bougieness. Dude, I've got a thirty of Maddie Bow. In my cooler at all times. It is what it is. I'm a Baltimore that's, that's boy at heart. Right I'm yeah, a yeah, old yeah, boy. Yeah, I'm drinking a 30 of Natty. Every day. And cold Natty's great. Can I tell you one of my favorite lines from Avengers? Yeah. Loki. An ant has no quarrel with a boot. Oh, uh, yeah. Because, awesome. you know, awesome. Samuel Jackson says to him, yeah. We have no quarrel with your people. And he's like, Yeah, well, an ant has no quarrel. And how many ants have you stepped on? It's like, Oh, yeah, great fucking point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not like yeah. when he's trying to take on the hawk. You puny in the hog. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. That part was amazing. It's just yeah. so funny. Yeah. All the little quirks is 
It has everything you need. Uh, but the rebuttal later, and boomy boo. Yeah, dude. <laughs> That's a great part. It's oh. and then um, it's just the scene where Thor and Hawk are together for the first time, destroying everything. Yeah. They get into the building, and Hawk just punches punches Thor him. Off. <laughs> I was dead. I thought it was hilarious. It is funny, and yeah. that just builds on what we know about them. Yeah, yeah. They just think to Ragnarok. Ragnarok is my second point. Favorite. It's a good point. I no, like it's, it better. Yeah. Listen, wait. but it, either way. I, Here we are, right? Dude. All right, so give me your rating. 9-4. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm going 9-1. Okay. 9-1. Okay. I mean, it just, to me, like I said, it just, it hit. All right, so we're going to average them then. Yeah, real quick. Well, None we're... of us are mathematicians. <laughs> no, yeah, I get no <laughs> shot of this in my head right now. It's, dude. Uh, it's going to be close. Yeah. It's going to be close. Okay. 9-5. Nine, 9-5. Five. Nine, five. 9. 8 point, uh, 8 point nine. Divided by three? Yep. Yeah. 9.13. So 9.1. Okay. So then 9. This is 9.12. It's going to matter. So. Well, okay. We'll I'm see. Sure. Yeah, we'll see. Avenger wins. So 9.4. The Avengers win. Yeah, it's going to. Because of your. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, 9.1. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and 9.1. <laughs> Thanks, ass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> divided by three. 9.2. <laughs> That's fucking crazy, dude. So you fight. Oh, shit. His 8.9. Fuck the Dark Knight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's funny, but that's funny. Like, it, listen. I don't think it gets closer. No. Honestly. We're no. talking about point two. Like, yeah. Yeah. Here. I'm yeah. not, it's not like I went I'm point five. No, no, I, no, no, no. Point point two. Two. Dude, I'm totally joking. And we're only talking about, like, and what you said actually hit home. When I was doing this, I was like, if both of those movies are on, which one am I picking? Yeah. I'm picking Avengers. Perhaps. Personally. I'm picking <sighs> Avengers. Because Depends on how I'm feeling, but yeah. If I'm mad, I'm watching Dark Knight Rises. But if I'm happy, if the sun's out, I'm watching Avengers. Yeah. See, I think I'm picking Avengers every time. Okay. Every time. I just like Avengers that much. I, I respect that. Yeah. They're, they're... First season of Breaking Bad. Best season. First. So if he wasn't show, here, if he wasn't here, I win. You would have won. Yeah. Or not you. Jesus. Dark Knight Rises would have won. Me and Chris Nolan would have won. And then, <laughs> now that he is here, perfect. Man, he he invited me too, so you can, he can blame himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, that, that, come on, we're talking like. Yeah, I mean, you know what's crazy? In five years, my opinion on this will change. I know. Yeah. That's how good these movies are. Yeah. I mean, we're talking like. Yeah, the greats. And so it, it would have been nice to build on Nolan's universe, whereas it seemed like they started over after yeah. that. And then so. Uh, so no, like artsy for that. No, but I'm saying like to just take the characters, right? Take the characters. You don't, need, you, don't, you, you, you don't need him. You don't need him. But take that storyline, mm -hmm. right? Maybe you can't, like, because Batman technically then is, you know, you know, he's gone, he's in France, he's retired, he's whatever. But you had Joseph Gordon-Levitt. I like that. Ready, willing, and able. I mean, he was Robin, there. You yeah. still had Gary Oldman well, and Hathaway. There, I mean, you could have kept some of that. Yes. Whereas they're like, now, so now, because Nolan's thing caps here, mm -hmm. right, and yeah, Avengers, Avengers yeah, right. is like on their first big one. DC is like, oh shit, they just built this insane universe. We got to catch up. I got to be honest with you. That's why I, I haven't watched Justice League. Because like mentally, I can't handle it not being real. Like it just, I can't. Ben Affleck is very good as Batman. I'm not saying he's not, but yeah. it's just like, it's it's kind of like a mind F. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like It's like if somebody. Well, check it, it out for the comic books. I mean, I've watched all the animated Batmans and they are way different. I saw yeah, him as a yeah. samurai recently. So, yeah. Legit. Dude, the, so the, it's just fun to imagine different. The, but I consider it just I different universes. No, man. I just feel like, so like Joker, I could deal with it because Jack Nicholson's a great. I mean, he Rangers is great. Mm -hmm. But like, it, I mean, I feel like Ben Affleck's not a bad actor. He's really good, but is he a superhero actor? I'm know. telling you. So well, have I you seen Daredevil? But have you, now, have you seen any of the, like, have <laughs> you seen, did you watch like BBS and like Batman vs Superman? Did you watch that? That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I, I haven't anybody? been able to bring myself to do it. Any of them. I just, I can't. Man. The only Dude. thing, Wonder Woman is the only ones I've watched. Uh, and Suicide Squad, one. I mean. Will Smith? Yeah. Should have been the Falcon. That new Suicide Squad, Suicide Squad trailer looks is awesome, by the way. It looks awesome. Uh, I'm telling you, Shane, Ben really? Affleck kills it as Batman. Really? So watch Man, uh, of, Ste watch Man of Steel. Watch Batman vs Superman, and then watch the new Snyder cut of Justice League. Okay. The four-hour black and white one, or not black and white. I'm sorry. The four-hour one on w, um, HBO. Okay. It's. Sorry. What is happening? I just want to make sure it was recorded. God.
Damn it! <laughs> Chris, I, I swear to God, dude. Oh my God. No, it is, but we had a big mishap with the podcast before, and I'm yeah. getting like I mean, flashbacks. I'm having fun either way, but I would have probably given it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't have um, Yes, do it. Okay. And don't even, don't watch the 2017 cut. Just skip, go from Batman vs. Superman to that new Justice League. It's so enjoyable, okay. and I'm mad that, like, it's it can't be more now. I got gotcha. you. I'm telling you, when I'll, you have time. I'll do it, I'll do it. I'm just saying, like, personally, it was just, like... It's I, different. It's it's, di- it, it, but Ben Affleck crushes it. Okay. Crushes it. I'll do it. One of the best things about the whole thing. I'm looking ben at Chris, Affleck. I'm like... And Cavill. Henry Cavill. Yeah, Henry amazing Cavill. as Superman. Yeah. And obviously Henry. Wonder Woman, amazing. Oh, my God. Come yeah, on. Yeah, uh, but... Amazing. The first Wonder Woman was awesome. I didn't like Yeah, in the 84, we're not talking about 84. I'm talking about those... My son loves it. That's good. Yeah, Celine loved it too. Yeah. Right. How old is son? Uh, he's young. He okay. probably shouldn't watch it. I'm not gonna tell you his age because I don't want to judge him. <laughs> <laughs> I, you heard what I had to say. I let Celine watch something else. Don't judge me. Yeah, what did I, I mean, say? Oh, she watched Justice League because it's rated R. He's the third man. Yeah. If he doesn't die, I'm good. You know. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean he parents himself. Uh, yeah. You know? Basically, you got your siblings. Yeah. That works. And he's a boy. I got two girls. Like. Yeah. He's not oh. gonna take care of me when I'm old. <laughs> yeah. I need a girl. Just that. That's a fact. <laughs> yeah. You got a you got a daughter for life and a son until he takes a wife. Oh man. Yeah. Hopefully the wife is cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, let's let's jump into the next thing, right? Godzilla vs. Kong, the review. Its own sort of movie combat. Movie combat, yeah, yeah, that and its own universe. Because they kind of created yeah. a little universe, four, too. Speaking four, of universes... Three, three or four, four, three, right? Four, this, this is, is the, the fourth. fourth. This yes, is the fourth. yes. You had Kong. Godzilla, 2014. Oh, yeah. Kong, yeah. Skull Island. And then Godzilla, Godzilla vs. King, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. And now this. One, yeah. Yep. So, Thoughts. Uh, I saw it in theaters. So I, I wish I had. I did. wish I had. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Ben claims to support theaters. He doesn't go oh, see them in theaters. I don't know what's happening. I'm not even going to act. I don't know what's happening. I don't happening. watch movies in movie theaters. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I, and listen, I do, and I'm always pushing movie theaters on here. I go see. I did, it, again, I didn't have the time. Dude, you know how much it is for my family to go to movie theaters now? 80 bucks. Easy. Sneak out and then make fun of them for not seeing it with you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's how I'm going to parent. Oh my God. It's COVID, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like pre COVID? Hey. Understood. Nah, I get it. The theaters, no, the theaters are like no, 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 no. Space I'm, between seats. It's babysitters. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, right, 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 right. It's not necessarily the like, gotcha, movie gotcha. is okay, but like problems yeah. people don't think about. It. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, when you have one, no, no offense, to people that have one kid, do whatever you got to do. <laughs> but when you have one, it's it's easier. When yeah. you have three, it just yeah. oh, no, no, no. Like, listen, I know. I, I thought you were talking about no, 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 no. Yeah. Listen, man, wear your mask. Life is good. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, but it's more like but I. Thank you for calling me out. I appreciate it, okay? I uh, wish I had seen this one on the big screen. Hey, it needs to be It would have been better. It, yeah, yeah, I would have liked it more, I think, had I seen it on the big screen. I only thought it was okay. I didn't but doesn't know. that tell you everything you need to know about the movie? That's a... Honestly... No! It's a, you, yeah, great point. Great point. Because the story was all over the freaking place. I mean, it was like hard to follow, right? Am I tripping? Good. It was It was hard good. to follow. You had to, like, so first, pet peeve of mine. Don't put anything important... In the credits, or like the the uh, the prologue, like oh I the beginning, yeah, like Is there yeah. a credit scene? No, no, no. But the oh, prologue shit. in this movie told you stuff that was important to the storyline. So uh, like, yeah, 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 you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't get out of here. I'm okay with that if the characters are already known. Like when yeah. they did it in the Hulk, I was okay because it did. We didn't have a whole lot of build up of how he became the Hulk. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, it, it burns time if you know it. If there's already been the story. I'm in ten times. seconds, bro. Yeah. I, mean, I want to get to the movie. I don't need. Yeah. I don't want to watch people's names. I, I don't care. I want to get to the story. Wait. So what? What? There was like background, like so he wasn't in yes, Skull Island yes, anymore. Yes. Why wasn't he in Skull Island anymore? Because there was a big storm. Like I didn't even realize that that girl was the last surviving from her tribe Dude, until I watched yes. it the second time, yeah. and I actually watched them give me the act. I don't care about who's acting. You're, you're, student. <laughs> you're right so, because when I'm watching that, I'm like. I got a little bit in before I realized it. I was like, oh, they're telling you pertinent information right now. You need to be listening yeah, to this. Yeah, 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 I was yeah. like, shit. Like, oh, back up. You know? So, yeah, good point. I wasn't thinking. Of, if it's a if it's a blank screen in a paragraph where it's like, you know. Star Wars In, in 2020, blah, 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 this happened. Okay. But it wasn't. It was like shit was going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's like, you listen to a newsreel and you're like, oh, damn. I got to. Yeah. I, I, don't want, I don't want that. I agree with you. But for what it was, like, I think. Okay, there's certain movies to me you go into knowing what they are. Yep. This is one of those movies. I'm not going into yep. this movie expecting great disagree. acting. Expe- I don't know, man. I, I, I mean, like... What did I, I have to disagree. 
Huh? I, That's fine. Just even so. Like, I feel like Godzilla and Kong were the best actors in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they had good actors, though. That's the annoying That's part, right? That's what pisses me off. Like, uh, Eleven, or whoever that is from... Millie Bobby Brown. Yes. Uh, oh, me, hold on. Oh, well, I got a little head. Uh, we didn't do the thing. Oh, sorry. No, we didn't do the thing. That's my fault. I asked. Yeah. Director, Adam sorry. Wingard, forgot to say, came out in 2021. Obviously, it's a brand new movie. Adam Wingard, he directed a horrible... Way. He's directed mostly horror movies. Really? Yeah, mostly horror movies. Um, a Horrible Way to Die, good movie. You Are Next, good movie. And then VHS, which I haven't seen, but I've heard a lot VHS? of the things about. Yeah, it's called like, V slash H slash. It's mm-hmm. a horror movie. Um, and then the writers, Eric Pearson, he wrote on Thor Ragnarok. He was one of the credited oh, writers really? on Thor Ragnarok. Yep. And then the other guy wrote, he, wrote he was on Kong's Call Island and the oh. first Godzilla movie. So okay. they, they, people were involved. Yeah, so yeah, good. They ha- I think they have good people at the helm. For whatever reason, it just didn't come together that's what we're getting at and the plot of the movie we skip past that but they hate the plot plot is okay but again what i was saying is the story was so they they told it weird yeah, yeah, yeah. it jumped all around mm-hmm. so it was hard to follow but basically godzilla attacks unprovoked they say mm-hmm. like godzilla uh, unprovoked attacks this place in florida was it florida yeah, yeah. caught up apex Final apex AS. right and everybody's like that's wait a minute godzilla attacked why would you know like he's we supposed need to, to defend be, ourselves yeah. So now the whole thing is that, like, okay, well, we're going to use Kong to protect us against Godzilla because they're the only two Titans left. Mm-hmm. But you said this, too, that one of the things I didn't like was, like, it took me a second to realize that Skull Island was Vietnam and this is modern day. Yeah. So, like, Kong looked older. I'm like, well, when did Kong age? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he years. was a kid. Yeah, yeah I knew that going in. The, I, the, the, but it just didn't that. click. It didn't yeah. click. Yes. Like, I didn't think, like, they, that. this is the point that the movie... It could have been better yes. if they just did little things. And one of the things I actually appreciated because it wasn't great was that it was short. Because if it was longer, yeah. it would have stopped. It was less than two tough. hours. Yeah. It was less than two hours. Like an hour 40? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one hour 53, yeah. You say, I'm surprised it was that short. Yeah. I watched I it on a flight movie. to Florida. That's all I know. I was yeah. able to watch the whole movie on a single flight yeah. to Florida. It, it was. Uh, the timeline, Kong Skull Island is set first. Then you have Godzilla. Mm-hmm. King, then Godzilla, King of the Monsters, and then this. So that's the time. I I, t- I had totally forgot that too. That uh, King uh, Skull Island is just right post Vietnam War. I mean, yeah. it's like right there. Um, but uh, it it, the, it just the, the whole thing is that like they get um, so this this place Apex, the place that Godzilla attacks, and everyone's like, why would he do that? Why would he do that? Right? And it's like so now the hum- they the Apex. CEO comes to these scientists and like, hey, we need your help. To you got to go to get this thing that's going to protect us from Godzilla, and it, it just so there's this whole yep. um, now the the Hollow Earth theory that's part of the movie. It's a, I, listen, I, I know I'm with you, but like I think two minutes. Yeah, they don't give you enough. Two minutes. They don't give you enough, and it's just like they don't. So so the theory is the whole. Well, I'm gonna. Spo- I don't want to spoil it yet. But what I'm saying is like oh. they have this that because this is all set up like yeah, in the yeah. beginning, but they just they they have this plan to now go to get this um, energy source that's gonna then help them fight Godzilla. It's like the same thing. The, the spikes that glow on mm-hmm. God. It's like the same right. energy source, and they yeah. think it comes from this place called Hollow Earth. That's like the whole setup, yep. right? Right? Am I am I missing that's anything? I think that's yep. yeah. Exactly. yeah. I mean, you've got these supporting characters that are on their own paths and stuff throughout the movie, which again, it was too much. It's too much going on in this movie. Yeah. It was. So, like, my biggest gripe was it. I don't know, man. It just there was there was no development. It was like it was an action movie, and I'm cool with that. So, if you're gonna be an action movie, be an action movie. Don't yeah. throw me anything else. Like, yeah. I don't need anything else. And we're just gonna be an action movie. Like, I just got annoyed. Like, mm-hmm. I, there was yeah. the one part. Are we doing spoilers yet? Um, we, when you guys are ready, we got the general. We we said no, no. We, we, like we've said, kind of general. We didn't like it, didn't we? You know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Spoilers we can, ahead. We can go into spoilers now. I okay. just I like to give that because gotcha. this is a brand new movie. So, you know, two things that piss me off. So spoilers much is so like Kong. I mean, they set up Godzilla attacks because mm-hmm. Mega Godzilla's in Pensacola, Florida, right? Mecca, Mecca, whatever. He's metal. But, that was a big... 33... That, I thought that was actually kind of cool. That was cool, but but I couldn't... I didn't... 33 floors, and this guy's supposed to be um, as big as skyscrapers? No. Come on. Mm-hmm. 
Come on. Why would good he point. attack them? Like, it's it needs to be a hundred floors down. Yeah. Like, like, if you're going to have something as big as skyscrapers, hundred floors, not 33. But was 30, Easy. Well, yeah. was 33 him or was 33 where they he kept saw those? the eyeball in 33? He saw the eyeball that eventually gets called Hong Kong, and that's the eyeball for for the metal Godzilla. Okay. Uh, okay. Now, yeah. I, I do think if somebody, because I don't know all the background, like the the, the comics, the, the all the old Godzilla movies, all the like lore that surrounds Godzilla, I think people that are super into that will love this. I think because it, I think it. It, it, it's been building to something, you know? Where are those people at? Yeah, but you shouldn't need that either. Japan? <laughs> Japan. Maybe. Japan. It'll do but well you shouldn't need that, though, right? Should you need that? Like, No. And that That's I mean, my point. Is that, no. like, yeah, for, for the average viewer, it's kind of just like, uh, yeah. I don't know what's going on. Cool, this looks, right. this looks pretty, but... Like, when we did Scary Stories Down in the Dark, <laughs> I liked it uh, because I grew up reading those books, and I'm you nice. didn't know that. You like it too? I mean, come on, man. This, this well, is great, great books. books. But see, that's what I'm saying. Though. This we had influence books. because we liked the books and we didn't read them. Boys, so you missed out on your But same thing here. A good movie should read be... Goosebumps. Goosebumps is legit too, but Scary Stories is... Come on. But so, anyway. In general, <laughs> the good movie should hold up on its own. Exactly. Don't disagree. And then the whole Hollow Earth thing, man. Two seconds. Like, come on. They, they can, barely touch. So this, the whole theory, one of the characters they bring in is this doctor who has... He's like, he's kind of... Discredited Chimbo. because he has this. Yeah, it's. Um, I mean, the cast is pretty good. You've That's got the part that pisses me off though. Yeah, they've got a good cast. You middle that. Alexander Scar Skarsgård plays Nathan Lynn. He's this discredited scientist. He's um, Eric from True Blood. Millie Bobby Brown. We mentioned she's um, Kyle Chandler's daughter's or Kyle Chandler's character's daughter. Mm -hmm. So he's he's been in the other movies. For two she was in the other movie. Yeah, he's barely in. Yeah. Um, Brian Tyree Henry plays this like conspiracy theorist. He's got his own podcast. I best. Think. He's good. The best. He's in um, Atlanta. I don't know if you've seen that show, but Atlanta's great. I thought he was the best part of the movie. He's good. And then Rebecca Hall from the town. She's like another scientist. She's like the one in charge of Kong. Yeah. You see, they're keeping him in this like weird simulation world or whatever. And the whole theory about so the thing is right. We keep mentioning this Hollow Earth theory. The scientist has this theory that there's a that the <coughs> Earth is hollow, and there's an entirely separate ecosystem in the core of Earth, mm -hmm. which is the birthplace of all the Titans. Yep. Right? And, and, and the thing is that the, uh, Alexander Skarsgård's character, um, his brother, tried to go on a mission to get there, and the spacecraft that they were in um, couldn't like handle the, the, the gravity flip or whatever it does. He's dying. Did you feel bad for him, though? That was one of my gripes with the movie. I wrote that down. I'm like, I feel like they want me to feel bad for him, but yeah, because I, I don't know, I don't care. What, Your brother died. So. Yeah, it oh, was no. the weird thing for I me mean, was this: no. that the, the, when the the CEO from Apex comes to him and says, "Hey, we need you to help. We need to fight Godzilla. He's he's provoking us. Blah 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 blah." Like we built a spacecraft that can prevent that from happening. It's like so. Then they get in. Like you know, fast forward. They no get backstory. In, it's like. Wait a minute. Are we in Star Wars now? Yeah, like I, I was like, what is this ship that they're in? This is this is 2021. This isn't like in the future. No, right? Um, no backstory. So so they go and they get there, and it's like they find this. It just becomes you know, it's nuts, and you know, whatever. Again, the story. I'm still kind of trying to like decipher everything <laughs> in my head, but the action sequence, watching Godzilla fight Kong, and then watch Godzilla and Kong fight Mecha Godzilla. All that looked great. I mean, the the special effects were unreal. Yeah, it, I, yeah I gotta say, uh, to your point on yeah. the writing of movies, so the technology shit I can overlook because there's giant lizards and whatever <laughs> fighting each other. Yeah, I can overlook that part of it. But what really kills me? So Godzilla's gung ho on fighting Kong for whatever reason. They never really explain that. I guess because he's a titan, maybe. And then they're like, power down the ship. Oh, that worked. Yeah. The ship's off now, so yeah. he doesn't know there's a Titan here. Oh, my God. That was That hilarious. pissed me off. And then yeah. the, the one scene that really got me is the girl that's like the protector of Kong's like, okay, we'll do it. All that matters is he's safe, and we got to be safe. And they're like, okay, but Godzilla needs to, he might show up and kill all of us. He's like, all right, well, let's just get there. And then they bring the little girl. You know Godzilla might come kill everyone. You got the little girl on the ship? And you bring her in. Listen. It's bad writing. I'm a father. You're it's a bad father. Bad writing. Would you bring your daughter in a ship that killed your brother? I wouldn't bring myself. <laughs> Look, part no. two. 
Why are we firing at Godzilla like it's going to do something? Right. Have we not I'm learned the at some point? <laughs> have, have we not learned that this dude is impenetrable? Yeah, right? I mean, come on. I don't know. That all being said, I think if you go into the movie mm-hmm. with the idea that it is Godzilla versus Kong, yeah. it isn't awful to watch. It's not it's like... It's not awful. Nope, yeah. didn't hate it. <laughs> Chris, Chris is giving that look like, I'm I gotta not be, sure about that. I gotta be honest. I did. You hated it. And I what? No, I would. I went in with that mindset. Oh, okay. But it's the little things that piss me off. Yeah, yeah. Not the technology, fine. Whatever, we're in a movie. It's the... Turn off the power? Or the... Oh, we're just gonna go break into the most yeah. secret headquarters oh, in the oh world? God, and take a fucking... We're gonna go a thousand miles per hour and not get hurt. No one even fell oh, down. Right? <laughs> right? Ah. G-Force is like... People throw up have like sickness from G forces and three normal people. Yeah. One really no fat training. Guy. Yeah. And a kid. Yeah. And a kid. Yeah. It, and the dude from Chronicles. Dude, yeah. It it Yeah. Well that's what's surprising to me is that this guy rode on Ragnarok and the other guy well Skull Island, I didn't love either. But I didn't hate Skull Island. Yeah. But I didn't love it is what I'm saying. It's okay. Yeah. It's I, will watch I like it better than Island before I, yeah. Thank you. That's what I was just about okay. to say. I like it more than this one. Yeah I'd watch Skull Island again before I, I liked just... all of the previous ones more than this one. Yeah ditto. Um, well, I that's why we all thought Avengers was gonna suck. I did watch this one twice though. And that's oh like, yeah. Well, so I watched it on the plane, and then my son is a huge Kong fan. Uh-huh. Huge Kong fan. So we watch it for family. We do family movie night every yeah. Friday or Saturday. So we watch it for family movie night. I got the funniest thing about it too. To me, was like Godzilla was extremely hateable in this movie. To me, it felt like a Kong movie, and Godzilla was yeah, a yeah, supporting yeah, actor. Yeah, yeah. So like it was weird because. It should have been Kong versus Godzilla. Right. Godzilla was like... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, my kids were literally cheering for Kong. Get him! Get him! Get him! Everyone was. Yeah, I was like, fuck Godzilla! What the hell? What the ass? Yeah, exactly! (laughs) But so, this is my problem. I think the storyline was okay. I honestly feel like it was COVID rushed. And it got taken over by HBO, and it ruined it. If I'm being honest. Because there's got to be people in networks somewhere that watch over this and go... No, don't do that. Yeah. Or, oh, what are you doing here? And then that gets fixed. But yeah. they, they didn't do it. I thought the potential, the, the, the biggest thing for me was I saw the potential the entire movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole time I was like, it's there. Here we go. Here it's we there. go. Here we go. Mm. You, you Game of Thrones did, bro. You game, oh, you game of Thrones. So you acknowledge. I always acknowledge. No, 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 no. I, mean, I think Journey, it's, not result. I think it's a bad sign when we're saying the best part of the movie is that it was short. And that we needed 20 more minutes at the same sentence. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Like when you're saying the best part was that it wasn't a long watch, but it needed 20 more minutes is like. I, I hated everyone except for the deaf girl. Yeah, the but deaf girl was the best character. That pissed me off me. though, dude, because like they could have made her so important, but if you didn't watch the opening credits, you wouldn't have yeah, known yeah. that I agree. she was important. But like she grabbed my emotions. Like yeah. she made me feel things. Like there was, a, I mean, I got so mad about this. She was like, when everybody died, she was the only one that's left, and I told her I'd take care of her. And I'm like, whoa. Why are you bringing on this boat, dummy? <laughs> yeah, like, what are you, you talking about? You know Godzilla's coming! Take yeah, you point, like, you literally know you're not going to cross this ocean. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which, I mean, well, how many? They fight two, three times? How many people do you think died? Dude, the gravity thing. I can accept the boat, but the gravity thing? That guy's brother died, and you know that, because you know this guy. Mm-hmm. And you're on an experimental vehicle that's about to go flip gravity. And they brought the little girl again! I'm not taking my... <laughs> Dude, that's not... Yeah, I, yeah but, like, it, even in the fight, the fight sequences between Godzilla and Kong, like, the first one out in the ocean on the boat, fine, whatever. The, but the that people, was confusing, though. The people out there, they know what they're in. They're You're, you're transporting this yeah, insane yeah. giant gorilla. Right, and, yeah. You know, you, there's but, risks. But the people where the the fight in the city, they leveled that area. It's like, how many people do you think died? Well, they oh, evacuated I... first. No shot. They, they hit an evacuation died. button. I saw them. Nah, and then they had the apex predator shelters. <laughs> but Godzilla, Godzilla's yeah. able to shoot his breath to the, the center of the earth. Like, what Abe? I'd like to see the shelter. <laughs> Let me see the like shelter. Captain America <laughs> Shield, bro. <Yeah. laughs> Made out of vibranium. <laughs> And they oh, just rushed man. too much, man. Yeah. Even the, fir- the 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 water fight scene to me, and then flying him, I'm like, no one thought of that. If I think I could do, I mean, if I think I could do a better job, I don't like it. 
And I do feel like I could have easily done a better job. And you're consistent with that. Easily. He, yeah. I, I mean, from season mm -hmm. episode one, you said that millions yeah. of times. And it is slight things that you, like, small things. And you're like, just a slight thing here could have made this better. It's but yeah, I agree. I, listen, I, what I, uh, score? 5.1. Wow. Here's the funny thing. I came in higher. You can be, yeah, listen. Score, oh shit. You know what? I'm very close. It, I'm going to go five one two. Okay. See, here's the funny thing. I I came in in the six hot middle sixes. Stay. And now that we've been, no, no, no. Because now we were talking about, I'm like. It's happened. It's, it's happened to me. I, and it sucks. We both, like, we've come in thinking one thing and then it's like, oh, wait. That's a good point. Okay, yeah, that's the whole point of this. Is like I'm gonna go six one. Okay, six, and I'm one. just gonna say six one because I think if you go into it, yeah, with just yeah. I'm gonna watch an hour yeah. and fifty minutes. I'm fine. Yeah. You want it? Yeah, I'm good. Special effects, the sound, the sound. I mean, this shit was rocking. Oh, yeah. that's what I'm trying. All, all, all these. My ears hurt. Yeah, at a certain point. and yeah. that's what I'm trying to say. So I think if you go into it with that, if I talk to a friend and I'm like, and they ask me, I'd be like, I would say. I wouldn't watch it unless you're bored, but yeah. you know, you got, you got special else. effects yeah. in theaters. Kids will love it. I think kids will I mean, love it. Hey, my son mm -hmm. loved it. Yeah. I might still show it to my daughter, like just because she's I watching. Still the like it, dude. Yeah. My, all three of my kids, and it's hard for us to find a movie that yeah. all three of my kids are like, I watch that. I yeah. watch that. All three of my kids were like, they like. It. Yeah. Well, that's awesome too. It has fun. And kids. there's definitely different demographics. Who says yeah. this is for us? One thing I came in my mind, I want to say because we're here. Yeah. It would be interesting if you and I, maybe not for viewers, yes. went back and didn't review but rescored a movie from our early episodes. Okay. Without looking at our previous scores to see where we actually are. Let's give us some time. Yeah, we'll wait. But yeah. it's an idea that popped in my head because yeah. I know this is going to change. Things change. But yeah. don't you think, I mean, I, I'll be honest. Like, watching this movie, I watched it differently knowing that I was going to be here. Okay. I really did. Like, I watched. You have to. I watched it with a pen and paper. Uh -huh. I actually had my iPhone out with the notes up, trying to like critique it, and then not in a bad it, way. It's weird, right? But in an honest way, it's weird. Honest way. It, but it's weird because you start doing that. I never did that before. Like I was always like critical of certain things in movies or whatever. Don't do that. Well, but like, no, so, if I if I have time, I watch it once and take it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the second time is when I come back with my notes. Sometimes I don't have that. So I have to like try to remember things and whatnot, but like it's it's weird yeah. when you when you watch a movie for enjoyment and then when you watch a movie to critique it. It's like two totally different experiences. I'm a judgy little bitch. So I've always done that. I think it's just great that like so I think personality wise, pen and paper. Uh -huh. Miller life. <laughs> 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 I mean, and then craft Drum Miller Life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, hey, I'm not hating because Natty Bo, dude. Yeah, Natty Bo's top five beer for me. So. There, there's Bud Lights in my fridge. Okay, uh, I we drink the I. So don't the, believe do you want to No, they're up there. They're up there. It's they're just the it's it this the heavy seas thing just became a thing. Oh, the yeah, show. Yeah. I'm and just like, messing with you. I'm just there. saying, like, I think that it's it yeah. just tells you. Like, I think movies are so. That's why I hate critics because movies are so individualized. They're yeah. where you're in life and, mm -hmm. and where you're at in that moment that like any movie can be enjoyable mm -hmm. if you watch it at the right time. Except the Baytown Outlaws. Or the 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 life movie. Uh, the life movie. The, the guy and the girl and the, I mean you. I'm thinking of many things. Oh my god! Did, did you watch it? I tried. Yes! <laughs> Finally, someone! It's the worst! Yes, man! It's so bad! It's so bad! It's so bad. It's so bad. Yeah. I gotta tell you, so it's. it's uh, so first bad. of all, Simon, yeah. first of all, I respect you guys because this is hard. It looks easy. Yeah. I, I texted Ben halfway down. I'm like, how the hell do you do this every week? Yeah. And then, second of all, you all spend some dough because I have a list of all the movies you review, and I'm like, oh shit, man. This yeah. is seven dollars. Yeah. This is fourteen. This <laughs> <laughs> uh, dedication. Props to you guys. Yeah. Cheers to you guys. Thanks. Dedication. Yeah. Benefits to it. Yeah. You see movies like uh, Thank you for coming. Peanut Butter Falcon that you've never. never Peanut Butter Falcon's amazing. By so the good. Way. I would yes. never watch it before for this. Sound of uh, metal. Sound of Metal. Amazing. Yeah. Best picture. Amazing. It's mildly good. Uh, mildly. Mildly good. wrong. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. Um. All right, guys. We scored it. That's it. It's in the books. It's on the spreadsheet. You'll see you it. You can put it in the books. Yep. Okay. One thing left to do. Oh, man. Name oh, it's time to name some movies. I've got so many My goal is to be Danny. Okay. Danny, 
I'm we get one? You. <laughs> oh, no, I don't like that. Oh, no, 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 it's pretty good. I, I, I wanted to be a thought. Nicolas Cage. Okay. Oh, oh man, see, one. this is the problem. Like, I think this game would be so much easier if you didn't get your guest, like, drinking door. Like, you should let... We're drinking, too! Yeah, but you got memory, man. No. Like, I'm with Chris some, on this. I sometimes. Remember. Okay. He's a good one. I won. <laughs> Last one. Did not out? You're not allowed to guess go first. Oh, we shit. let Danny go yeah, first. Yeah, go first. Go first. I said to go this the You, me, him. Goes like this. The okay. matchman. That's not it. The what? That's not it. The you what? know what I'm talking exactly. about. Exactly. I know what he's talking Say about. Say it again. The matchstick man? You're so close. <laughs> I know it. That's the problem, man. See, <laughs> this guy. Yeah. National yeah. treasure. Okay. I'll Damn. You. I was trying to. Ah. Yeah, that's all right. Do you know what he's talking about? He knows what I'm talking about. It's a good movie, too. It is a good movie. It's a good movie. Yeah. I know it's a good movie. movie. All right, so I'm going to say National Treasure 2. Oh. There's Dude, another um, title. Is there? Yeah. Are you sure? Positive. Oh, you're going to do that to me? I'm oh, you <laughs> wouldn't do it to me? <laughs> yeah. no, 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 no. I don't remember the title. I'm going to say Matchstick Man. Because <laughs> oh, I forgot. Did to you. No, no, no. You said the Matchstick Man. National Treasure 2, The Book of Secrets. It's Book of Secrets. I knew <laughs> it was Book of Secrets. Oh, man. I'm, I'm probably going to be out just because I want to watch you two argue. Two. You got some. Some big ones out there. Yeah. I, you, but it's the pressure. It's the lights. Okay. There's the lights. It's the lights. <laughs> it's the lights. Yeah, you gotta have more than one. I don't want to have more than one. But... <laughs> I gotta think. I think. I thought it was gonna be Danny. Like, I feel like this yeah, is... How many did Danny get on George Clooney? One. <laughs> one? <laughs> and George Clooney's hard. Little is, is easy. way is easier. easier, yeah. This, he is easier. All right, so we'll give you just a quiet ten. Yeah, I'm starting. I don't even care. That's the funny thing. Like I got like, this. You have to know one more. I'm telling you, man. Maybe. maybe it's the beer. Three beers in. All right. Oh, ah, uh, drinking Las Vegas. Uh, leaving Las Vegas. That's yes. There Boom. you go. See, I think it's the only Academy Award ever. <laughs> A phenomenal movie. I don't even know that. Him and uh, Elizabeth Shue. If you don't, you need to watch that movie. Okay. No <sighs> stage. <laughs> is that your movie? No, 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 no. Um, he did, did. Have you seen the history of swear words or whatever that he did on Netflix? It's supposed to be pretty funny. He like goes through cuss words and like. No, I don't know. Yeah. Um, Snake Eyes. Oh yeah, yeah. Gone in sixty seconds. Fuck you. That's my. I love. Can I tell you? Oh, yeah, drink. Sorry. Can I tell you how many times I've watched that movie? It's I, great. It's. Oh my god. Um, Eleanor. Who does that? Did you drink? No. <laughs> 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 I mean, I, I don't know. can I say mine before I forget it? Yeah. Face off, dude. You're out. No, you got. Oh, it. you're right. Yeah, face off. Damn, I thought you. Damn, that quick. Damn. <laughs> Take a couple of them. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you said I was out. One sixty is good. Mm-hmm. Oh wow. See, same wow. thing. Once you get into it, the uh, pressure goes. I'm, I mean, it's it, there's still pressure. The Rock. Oh, that's good movie. <sighs> Great movie. Good movie. Good movie. Con Air. Oh, oh, that was the one I had. I just yeah, had that one, yeah, and I'm thinking of another that's one. That's when it hurts. Oh man, this is gonna be really bad because I can I can see the movie. Uh huh. That happens a lot. I can tell you the plot. No, doesn't work. I know that. I'm familiar <laughs> with the roles. <laughs> Thirty three episodes. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> Appreciate the support. Yeah, we do, man. Seriously, um, I feel like I want to give Chris to this just so he knows it, but. You can't say the movie title. If you say the movie title, you're going to win. Oh, my God. Or you're going to be still in. He's oh, the, guy, he's now, the bastard. Now. He goes back and, like, blips in yep. time. To me, it's a Christmas uh-huh. movie. Oh, my God. What is it called? I know, I know what it's called, but I don't know what it's called. You know what I'm talking about, though. Mm-hmm. That'll only ever help him. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> it will only ever help him. <laughs> I've lost three or four of these because I know the movies. He'll go, say something and I'll like, like yes. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, snap. What is that movie called? Mm-hmm. I mean, here's the problem. Like, oh, you, I know what it is now. Do you know you what it's called? I think so. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Drink. <laughs> the problem is, is once you get that movie in your head, too, mm-hmm. you're not getting off of it. You're stuck on it. Yeah, I mean, like, I am stuck I on it. I would consider you this. And it might be the name of the movie. It might not. Yeah, I'm trying to help him. Oh, uh, man, count it down. I'm not going to get it. And I'm right. stuck on it. 
I'm I'm stuck on it. Mm, mm. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, uh, shit. I'm next. Done. That's not the movie we're talking about, but yes. Yeah. Next is. Oh, no, what are you no, talking about? No, thank He's you. talking about the family man. Dang! Uh, that's it, man. Yeah. I had the. I, oh, that's annoying. That's okay, thank I'm you. I'm glad I helped you. It worked. I'm glad I helped you. I want to see Bang go down. <laughs> Damn, dude, hate. <laughs> well, I mean, it's just, it's annoying for people who suck at names and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's annoying to have the parent not with a guy. Uh, listen, at well, I have my time, like my days where it's like some, some of them like great, but like, what was the one? Hey, hey, it's your turn, man. Oh, snap, we're giving them, yeah, you keep saying Walton. I hate it. <laughs> my mother-in-law knows every actor and actress in the world, and she always, if you tell me who they are, I know, but. I'm just bad with that kind of stuff. I hate when I have to meet customers. Eight millimeter. And then oh. I forget what they're talking about. Have you seen that? And then good. Like fucking yeah. Oh, that's good. The Lord of War. I hate when I'm talking to a customer oh, and like I forget <laughs> their name twenty minutes into our conversation. And I just I Are know. you sure this isn't called mm. What are you talking it's about? It's definitely called the family man. Mm -hmm. Uh I'll Google it because I'm out. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking of something else then. Maybe it's Mastic Men that I'm thinking of that's already been named. Which, that was mine. Yeah. I was off by like... Yeah, you're so close. It's all right. Um, <laughs> it's so condescending when it says nah, it. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm fucking starting to blank, man. Drink. Oh, Drink. The guest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe you don't, don't said don't that one. Do it. Don't you I'm do not going to say nothing. I've got three. Yeah. Three what? You have three more? It's definitely ah. the family man. It is. No, 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 Yeah, you're right, you're right. You all are going to be so angry. Is he a weatherman in that movie? He plays yes. a weatherman, right? So I'm sitting here thinking, is there something called weather? He like, does not play a weatherman. He's not a weatherman in the family man? He's yeah. a tired salesman, and he is a big, like, business Business person. guy, but I thought the yeah. business guy was a weatherman. Maybe I'm wrong with it. No, no, no. He's like a money kind okay. of guy. He's, he's a butthole. It's all you poor weatherman out there. Which, Not a money kind of guy. All I'm trying to say is go with that. Man. I know man, more. Man, you all are going to be so crazy. mad. I know. I know. I'm I so mad. I'm I so mad right now because me and my family just talked about watching one of these movies last week. Yeah. I know it, dude. It's like they're all like it's here and here. And I, I beat Danny. I don't care. You did. You did well. I mean, you did Danny. well. And honestly, Danny. we're super long, so I'm not gonna go. Just go. I, I'm out. I'm out. Yeah, Just we're go. Yeah. Oh, my bad. I'm out. All right. Face off. Said. Said. Been said. said. Been said. Right. Yep. Duh. Ghost Rider. <laughs> oh. Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. Spirit, 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 Spirit of Vengeance. Spirit of Vengeance. Spirit of Vengeance. Yeah. Sorcerer's, Sorcerer's Apprentice. Sorcerer's Apprentice. I mean, amazing. Sorcerer's Apprentice. So many good ones. There's what else? What else? Give us some more. I got a a face ID isn't working. The Croods. Yeah, like, uh, the comedy, the uh, cartoon for me. There's two Ghost Riders, first of all. So you can yeah, say he, said he said both. He said both. Lord of War, we said that going. Yeah. Knowing. Did we say that? Next. Lord of War? Mandy. Lord of War. Mandy's new mom and dad is another new one. I know, one. that's what I'm trying to say. Shit! <laughs> City of Angels. Yeah, dude, there's some old ones that I'm going to get fucked. Kick ass. Mm. Oh, I mean, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm yeah. looking at this list and I'm so pissed awesome. off. Also, both of you drink. Yeah. Time, he's at Rich Mount High. Oh, he is in that, dude. I didn't I, know that he was I mean, that. I know we're in our 30s, but... No, I... We dude, should know him. There's some old ones I'm, I know that I just, like... Yeah, Fast Times, um... Raising Arizona. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wild at Heart. That's the one where I couldn't, like... That's a weird movie. And I remember my brother and I... We, it was like late night, like we were in a hotel, we were on vacation, and this movie came on like the late night HBO, like cable shit. Porn. Before it was like, oh. and Nicholas Cage, who's the woman in this movie? Laura Dern, or maybe it was her, I don't know, but he like, he does this weird, there's some weird sex in that movie. It's, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's nuts. And we yeah, watched it. His brother watched it. Dude, no, we were like, we were fucked, we were like in middle school, like, and it was like, you know. I you're, emancipated. You're, well, not, you know, <laughs> Not together. Not together. The hell? Not together. That's getting cut. The fuck? <laughs> God damn. Um, Look, middle school, guarding, hotel room, dude, weird sex. This guarding Tess, filmed in Catonsville. Um, that's what I'm trying to say. Dude. Filmed There's in so Catonsville. There's good one. There's a scene Although in Although Nicholas Cage just seemed like a, he'd be in a movie filmed in Catonsville. <laughs> if I'm being honest. 
Animal man or bring up guys. He's like the family man. You so sure? I swear to Christ. It's he's a family man. He's thought he was a better He is a tire salesman. I'm trying to tell you. No, that no. Is, tire salesman's poor, but I thought Wind talkers. Wind talkers, I know. He's not There's a movie called The Weatherman. That's what I was trying to tell you. God. The I fucking knew it. I, I'm sitting. You drink. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, man. I. Drink I, again. Ah, Chris is serious about this drink. I like well, it. Well, but yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh no! Let's just let's just, just chug just, your beer, dude. Oh, no. Just get it over with. Yeah, the episode's over. That's it. Mm. Mm. That's All right. Good. Next week. Well, don't go anywhere. Bring yourself back. Oh, Chris is ready to roll. No, he's not going anywhere. Where's the thing? Did you take my thing? The note. The. Sorry, I didn't want to spill any. Okay. Next week. Shots. Chris. Decided he's taking a vacation again. Okay. We Vegas. Vegas. So we Las Vegas, though, buddy. We, <laughs> we yeah. <laughs> we're not gonna have an episode next week. However, last week we recorded our movie awards, so the footage will be released next week in place of an episode. And it, look, if I'm being honest, I can't wait to see it. I haven't even looked at it yet. I have it. I'm, I'm mad about that to tell you. Didn't do it yet. If I'm being honest, yeah. I'm pissed off at one. At what movies win one Jesus? And what movies won which categories? Yeah, I I'm, was. I'm happy about baffling one. Baffling to me. I'm happy about one. I won best movie line of all time. Yes, he won a shorty for that. A shorty. I is, only came home with one shorty myself. Yeah, is the shorty here? It's there. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. But anyway, it was a fun time. I didn't. Great time. I didn't win the the, the uh, nominations. Lenore and John tied for that. They had four oh, eight, four piece. Oh, whoops, whatever. You can cut. Anyway, anyway. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, just stay tuned. Because I was about to spoil one more thing. I've had too much to drink already. It seems like <laughs> these beers are heavy. Yeah, I don't well, know what's going minute, on. You know. Seven percent. <laughs> How much are the, the heavy seas? Seven. Uh, really? Either way, seven point two. The five. results were amazing. It was so Shout out to State Fair. Yeah, absolutely. Shout out Thank to State you again to them. They hooked us up. The food was, was awesome. The food was awesome. And it, it just, I mean, they, they you, gave us the space. Oh, yeah, exactly. Too. Exactly. It's hard not to. Damn. The video is coming the week after this. So this video will be out, obviously, Friday. tomorrow. Following Friday, the movie yeah, awards movie footage awards will, be will be out. Yes. Yes. But the week after that, just to give you a heads up so you can prepare, we got another movie combat, which will be... Swing Kids. Swing Kids. Shane's recommendation. Okay. Amazing movie. A World War II era movie. Who lives in this here hole? What hole? That big brown hole. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, that hole. Okay. So we paired it up against The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, which is also a World War II movie. Chris and I have never seen either, either one of these movies. Um, they both came out the same year. Both came out in 90. No, 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 no. No, they didn't. No, Schindler's Listed. We Schindler's decided listed. against that. Swing Kids was 93. Boy in the Striped Pajamas was mid to late 2000s, I think. Oh, damn. Like 05, 08, somewhere around there. But, know. again, both World War II centered movies, um, <sighs> both critically acclaimed. Like they're, So, looking forward to it. It's going to be a little change of pace from the Marvel and Dark Knight and all it's that gonna stuff. It's going to be dark. You are going to yeah. not let Listen, yourself out. I'm movie. basically ballerinas fighting Hitler. <laughs> what I can understand. He doesn't know that. He doesn't know no, that. He's, he, I mean, okay? he's, he's totally wrong. And the official review will be Promising Young Woman, um, starring Carrie Mulligan. It's uh, uh, nominated for Best Picture. Nominated for Best Picture um, at the Oscars this year. Probably better than The Revenue. Oh, no, man. Come on. Son, Come on, dude. You just can't let it go. Hit him up so yeah. many times. Yeah. But also, tell me what you think of this shirt. This is the most proud purchase I've made in three years. I'm, yeah. I love it. I, I love don't know why. I, listen, I... Wow, I was excited. Look, it's got tour dates on the back, too. <laughs> <laughs> that fills it together. Hell Thank yeah. you for watching and listening. Yep.
Real talk for real movies, yeah, we'll listen. Real life for real hype, you feel different. Underrated, appreciated, or barely made it. You let us know at Law Bay, yeah, you really hate it. And Christmas like in the past, he got it going better. And like Jess, it didn't show up, and we don't let him. It's real talk, no theoretical, though it ain't invisible, man. It's so dependable, damn. You can't see him if it's dark or bright. Ask Chris with his Miller Lite. Or Blockbuster, it's so good, right? Candyman or Tony Dodd or Holy God. I mean, the devil all the time, or at least a lot. Apocalypto, go against the grain like your boy Adam, who drink Jack like Jungle and Nick Mullins. Educators, tell us what you know about him. Is it bad or good like Peanut Butter Falcon? Special guests like Danny D and Dave Arnold. Let us look to the future event horizon. In real life, the movie will never stop. Till it does, we drop, but there's no getting up. Until then, subscribe and they let you know the tops. Only way to know for sure is to watch. So shut up and drink your pops, your soda and corn pops. And listen to the real life movie talk. Movie talk. I'm isolated like the lady in black And I seek revenge for these movies at work